Are you fine with Stuana? Was a root in Matata Haven? And on the Tabala Matata or Levata Vagata Malibon Bamu Pileva, Avamanataka Limil, Scapa Toloka Dudes. Babi Bakamu Mulim, Lipa Pedi Bakamu Jay. Arrested Pupura says the Mohaya Baru Lenagi Kesa Pedi Rela Saga Simonad. My colleagues, the, my colleagues don't understand the, uh, uh, our language, so we must, uh, when we gossip about them, both the two on the right and two on the left, they won't hear a thing. <laughs> I don't know to do. I greet you all. My name is Ntibu Mudise. Ntibu Mudise ki Najame. I am the member of parliament. Kele lokola parliamente. I look like one, right? Uh, do I look like one? Yeah. Ki bona la yam. Ke ra ke monte. Eh. I'm 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 handsome. Let's let's ka tsaba go bua ke monte ke. Yeah, you, you must say so. Don't hey. don't be scared. Mo pele mo fela ke nna o monte, ska tolo. <laughs> uh, welcome to our public hearing. Uh, I want to first apologize for starting a bit late. We were scheduled to start at 10. But I must assure you, at 10 we were here. And uh, there were about five people. Well, we wanted to proceed with the five. Then we got information that some of you are still on your way. Uh, today is Sunday. Uh, it's going to be a very nice day. I'm going to tell you a story about this school. Uh, yeah, uh, but before we start with the business of today's meeting, I want to request that all gentlemen should remove their heads and we all rise. So that we sing the national anthem.
Mac, Raleboha. Let me take this opportunity to introduce to you members of parliament who are seated here today. Eric Sechunwe, Kiluisisi, Maloko, A, Parlamente, Alen, Temfano. These are all members of the Portfolio Committee of Forestry, Fisheries and Environment. Yanung A, Kemaloko, A, Committee, Ya, Botswara, Tlapi, Ya, Di, Ya, Tikuloho, Lili Tlap. Lili Tlap. Uh, I also got to look at the tools. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on my left is Honorable Phillips. She's a member of the committee representing the DA. Next to her is Honorable Kunu, a member of the committee representing the ANC. On my right is Honorable Kancho, a member of the committee representing the ANC. On the far right is Honorable Paulsen, a member of the committee representing the Economic Freedom Fighters. Economic Freedom Fighters. Economic Freedom Fighters. Uh, maybe we must remove E. <clears throat> at the right time. Uh, but that's like a FF. But that's like a FF. Uh, there we, maybe we, we, we can add plus at the end. Yeah. Uh, we have an apology of Honorable Mutambi, who is a member of the ANC. Renale Maitato, a modula stulo, mototlehi Mutambi, oilili lukula ANC. We have an apology of Honorable Brian, who is a member of the DA. Motutlehi Brian, Oilili Lukula DA. An apology of Honorable Weber, who is a member of the DA. Le Luku Weber, Oilili Lukula DA. An apology of Honorable Holomisa, who is a member of the UDM. Motutlehi Holomisa, Oilili Lukula UDM. Oh, we have an apology of Honorable Mbata, who is a member of the ANC. Le Mututlehi Mbata, Oilele Lokola, ANC. And Honorable Singh, who is a member of the Inkata Freedom Party. Le Mututlehi Singh, Oilele Lokola, Inkata Freedom Party. But be that as it may, Tina, we are here. Le Fakhunzi Yalo, Rena Rokhone. We have the staff of Parliament. Rena Le Batlanke, Diba Parlamente. Very beautiful uh, women and men. Please rise, all of you. Wherever A very, a very dedicated team of parliamentary staff. Rebuaka se topa se se ma tlaka tlaka se se tsangko parliamenti. Bato lekata di photo. But local side transfer, but there is a motive. You are going to be, uh, they are going to shoot photos at you, and then uh, you are going to appear on TV as well. Uh, I am told you are live on 408 parliamentary channel. A good labor, a Hokasua Katamalalo, Mokanaling, ya 408, Ilinga Parliamente. You are on Twitter. Little more Twitter, you are on YouTube, little more YouTube, uh, and you are on Facebook as well. Little Facebook, little info. I'm going to go smile in your now. Now it, it is necessary that you must give a little bit of smile. You, you don't want to appear on TV with a serious face on a Sunday. You can't tell the TV, because on the other hand, because what you say yeah, I, I try as much as possible to smile too. Uh, amongst us, there are department officials. For the, for the first time, we are told the DDG of forestry is here. DDG, please rise with your team. DDG, uh, her name is Pumeza. Not Tata, she's a DDG of forestry. D uh, there she is. The lady with the 
we also have the representative of the ministry. Renali Kemedi Kutsa Kantorum Ya Tona led here by Zoni. Yetelitzipiliki Zoni. Zoni, please rise. Zoni Emma Bakovo. Kula Zoni. Amongst us, uh, we have councillors. Renalema councillor Mokharharuna. I believe they are all from Moses Kotani. Ketsafur Botle Kiba Maspala wa Moses Kotani. Oh, okay. It's fine. Even if they are not from Moses Kotani, all councillors, please rise. So we are. Lefaba Satsuko Moses Kotani, Ilema Councillor, Lokayama, my Councillor Balubone. Okay. Uh, amongst all of us, we are told that uh, there are pertinent uh, attendees. Uh, we got uh, Chief Mabi, Kosi Mabi, from Matakuba Matutu clan. Uh, he's also a member of the provincial house of traditional uh, authorities. Lena ke tukululo ya butati jwa matwasu khosi. I'm sure you don't expect the chief to stand up. Eh ala sulu fela ro khosi yeme. But because I'm standing up I'll just you can just clap for me. Yeah, I'll be the chief. Yeah, give it to me, I'll be the chief for now. Chief Hasibone, 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 uh, more northwest. Uh, Mahosi, this is a journey that started three days ago in Freiburg. And I think we had uh, three representatives of the House of Traditional Authorities in, in Freiburg. And and Freiburg is in Dr. Ruth Mompati. Ki Dr. Ruth Sukhumuti Mumpati. So, I give out the value for the number. What are the two videos? Because you are in a three three. The young Chinese, the 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 Kaje kule ba bidi halika bidzo wa nifelo khaufi halika bidzo wa len khaufi ni ane le mutsi ni le lona ya ben le ben na tri tri le taba le 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 kana le bona le le tri tri le ona le pa zor lim lim pe skunza ah it taba it it won't be a mistake if you give me those ropes as well nganga salamu eh eh nganga salamu I can remain. I can remain behind and become chief mudise. Because it was all right. To be a chief, you 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 must have a royal blood, isn't it? Yeah. So it's an inheritance. Am I right? Eh, kibu uswa. Yeah. So I don't know how, but I'm related to Kosima. I don't know, but I'm. So I I I don't know how, but uh, I, I'm 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 related to somehow. I'm related to. Kosimabe, but yeah. I'm I'm also there. Yeah, right, right, right. Right, this guy's a million. Marke, the rahor leads get the imu. Yeah, labon, I'm going to Kosile. Labon, be aware. Labon, I'm also there. You can see by okay. by merely looking at me, I look like a chief. Yeah. I want to assure you that you are not in a wrong meeting. Eh, kerata ko ni ni te fale ta ko re kopano e ki one ni li kile mo ko ona ki ona e ni li. Uh, it is my conviction that when you were invited, you were given proper information. Uh, welcome to the public hearings in the Northwest. Uh, the 
segolo segolo ke amogela maloko a parliament ba tsa mang le bone i would like to acknowledge the members of parliament who are here but most importantly you the esteemed public ba to ba ba botlhokwa tlhokwa ke lona sechaba le lona ke ale amogela all the felt fire stakeholders who are here le ba lwantsha melelo ba ba leng teng botlhe ba tsa karolo mo ntleng ya go lwantsha melelo ba ba leng teng go pie this is going to be a very this is a very important meeting ke kopano e botlhokwa we are going to discuss uh, how it affects you re tlo go buisana re bua ka dilo tse dile amang how it affects the animals and how it affects the mountains gore di pologolo tsa lona di amega jang di thaba di amega jang jalo jalo and we appreciate your support for having to be here re le bogela ke moino ke nya lona go nna lona go nna teng ga lona go mpie we respect that you had other commitments but you had to prioritize this meeting re rata go tlotla seo gore lona le mabaka a mang fela le khetile khotsa le tlhophile go bela mabaka o go thoko le tle kopanong e we are consulting you because we are we are we want to amend we are in a consultation of what we call the national felt and fire uh, bill ya no ge re tlile go buisana le lona go nne go na le molao wa dikhwa le ditlhaga wa naga o o ratang go tlhabololwa kgotsa go tokafadiwa yes eh re batla go amenda so that um, it speaks directly to you re rata go go tlhabolola molao o gore o di o samagane le dilo tse dile a mang ka tlhamalalo this is a bill of 1998 ke bili khotsa molao ka kangwa wa 1998 honorable members in 1998 i was doing matric in this school ka 1998 ke ne ke le moithuti wa sona sekolo se and the story will continue as we proceed ke tla tla ke ntse ke letlela ka tsedi ndi ghanga re ntse re tswela pele honorable bolson says he was a teacher in this school eh motho tle polsenari yana na ruta fa Uh, I'm, not too, I'm, not, I'm not too sure what, what, what was honorable philips doing then a ke itsore motlotlegi philips yena na di rangpa she was working in sun city as a cleaner a riena na ne le mo pepa fa tsi ko sun city kwa honorable mkunu was working in a mine called swartlep motlotlegi mkunu ra yena na le mo mine wa swartlep honorable kanjo what were you doing when i make kanjo no do she was a tea girl here a riena ene le mo mo nela na ka ka te but the importance is that we are now here this site ya no se se go tlhoka gore go mpie no re ka fa le tlhakoreng le now it sends a message that it is possible ya no se o se bontsha gore kwa khona gala mongwe le mongwe a ka fitlhelela le ena boemo jo and seated here there are members of parliament in future ya no ge le mo gare ga rona fa ba a teng maloko a parliament a ka moso the only the only position that you can't occupy eh maemo a le mang a o bana o ka o ka se khone go nna wone ke a le a ka le khoshi mabe le khoshi ga sebo myself khoshi mabe khoshi ga sebo ga sebo yeah those are that's the only position you can occupy it's no our no, only three au he le bana ka wona Yeah, and then hey. we, we can discuss tigels, rekabua, kadistik, marutabaleb, and so on. Yeah, but that that one here, the above bararo, the other one bararo. The above mentioned three, no, it's for us only. Le kamfata mo le katabi wa. Are you happy about that? It must have caused to him. Yeah, that is a royal thing. It's in the blood. It's in the blood. We in us. Imo madi imo ban. Agir kujiman. Uh, is it so kosima yeah. yeah radumala yeah we agree <laughs> we are forced by the constitution to be here kemi molao theo wana constitution a ere laela go nne go nne fa that in every piece of legislation that we amend we must consult with the people gore molawana mongwe le mongwe ore o tlhabololang 
kgotsa o re o tokafatsang re re lisana le sechaba pele we don't want to sit in cape town and take decisions on your behalf about things that affect you in moses kotane a re rate go nna go cape town kwa re letse le ditshwetso ka dilo tse di amang lona ka tlhamalalo lona le le mo moses kotane re na re le go cape town e re tsa ditshwetso o ba tshwanetse ke se a re rate go dira se so you understand better the socio economic and cultural conditions that affect you here lona ke lona le tlhologanya ma emo a masisi a go buang ka ona gore se se le ama yang mo matselong a lena se le ama yang mo economy jalo ja in in one of the pub, i think the public hearing yesterday in no it's not yesterday in freiburg go freiburg malo they told us that uh, we were sitting in cape town we never thought that fire can reach us eh we re boleletse gore ya lena le ntse go cape town kwa le ketlile ha le naha no re mollo ka le fitlhela le lena kwa until parliament bent eh le ne le ketlile o fitlhela parliament e itsha now only now we are coming to the people because we realize that fires can also burn parliament ya ba ile ona re thanyang lo mapolo le tsebeng gore oh le re nna eh di ka go tsara nna di khona go sha yeah so we are not brought here because parliament has bent down eh ha re tle ka hore parliament e tshe le batho ba bodimo eh we will also as a committee be visiting uh, these municipalities to amend the climate change bill ya no ge re tlo tla mo province nge re tse re tla re tla mo ntleng ya bill e amanang le phetogo ya maemo a loapi e leng climate change Yeah, climate change affects all of us. It does not only affect the people in the urban areas or in the coastal provinces. Ya no khe climate change e ama mongwe le mongwe ha re o kwa magaeng o ko ditoropong. So a o bona di blister tse di mongolo mo possibility ke gore ke climate change. Eh le ho even if you see the blisters on my mouth it is possible that it's due to climate change. All these other provinces that we have been to Uh, it has been a bit cold and here it's quite warm ke le mo di profession tse ding eh gone go santsana go le tsidi dinyana eh fano ge eh go mo god so the journey continues we started this journey in the free state re simolotse free state we went to the northern cape ra northern cape we went to kwazulu natal ra kwazulu natal we went to mpumalanga ra mpumalanga we are now in the northwest Remobu kone bu piri and this is the last day of our consultations in the northwest. Ya no ge eh ke letsa se la rona la bofelo go mpieno eh la di therisano la khotsa di thetso tsa sechaba mo northwest. There's no rest from here we are wanted in parliament on Tuesday. Eh go tlo fo ha ri khutsi re boela hape moraho ka la bobedi parliament ya nna. On Thursday we are in Limbo. Ka labone re a Limpopo. Um from Limpopo we are going to Gauteng. Go tlo a Limpopo re a Gauteng. From Gauteng we are in the Eastern Cape. Go tlo a Gauteng re a Eastern Cape and then we'll go to the Western Cape. E be re re a Western Cape. And then we want rest then we start the process of a climate change bill. Mora ga mo ga re khutse ha. Eh mona kwa nge kutswane re simolla ka bill e ya climate change so if you want to identify potential you can start now eh ya no mpha o batla go bona di tshono simolla gona ya no eh e ha ba tlo itolo ke bomme ba ka bo ka ba ba bedi ka mo mo leme ke bona ela ba ba nyetse she ma ile ba 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 bedi ba ba tloge se ka ba itolo a re ke se ka itolo ya ba ba bedi ba ka mo mo leme ke bona ba siame a ba le ka itela ba <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> But it is my singular honor to welcome all of you. Eh ke motlotlo go la amogela lotle. Feel free to participate. Repang eh sosologang engage San Carol engage us. Buisana le rona. Eh it is also my belief that all of you has a copy of the bill. Ke na le tumele ya gore mongwe le mongwe o tshwere bill fa di pampiri tse Yes. Se le di bona mo. I don't want to sound like a broken record chilis. Eh, ya no ga ke rate go bua selo se le sengwe. Eh, mona mona kong ile ent. Eh. 
I had requested that this, this bill must be given to you at least a week or two weeks before. Bili eh, dinele tshane tse di filwe yona beke kwatsa di beke tse pedi pele re kopa. So that you don't see it for the first time when we meet you and we expect you to make an input. Gore le skele e bona lwa ntla go mpie eno ene le tshane tse go tlaka di tshitsi ke go tla di tswaelo mabapi le yona go mpie eno gape. It's like writing an exam. You can't study today and you are expect to write an exam today. There are those who are able to comprehend quickly. But there are those who must prepare, take time, understand the content, so that when we invite you here for oral submissions, Ubadile, you are able to speak to us about something that you have read. Khona le baba tlokanna ko ya gore eh ba buise ba tlhaloganye ba botse gore ba khone go utlisisa. But this process does not end here today in Moses Kotan. Ya no ge eh se ga se fele fane go mpieni mo Moses Kotan. Um we were persuaded also over and above this public hearings magosi. Eh re we must also convene a session of this nature with the houses of traditional authorities. Across all provinces. And I, th and I think this is something we can do. But because we are here today, let's proceed. So two blocks away, Honorable Phillips. On, two blocks away. Uh, yeah. The classes they are on top of each other. There. Now there's this friend of mine. Every time when the bell rings, he's the first one to walk out of the class. And he's not in a hurry to anywhere. He just stands there. Now the lower classes stand at seven and eight at, at the bottom. So nine and ten were on top. Now I realize that every time the bell rings, this is the man, this is the man who walks out every time. Then I went top. I went to the to my class with a bucket full of water. Then when the bell rang, I thought it's him who's going to appear there. And it was the principal. <laughs> and I did the proper job on the principal. So there was no discussion, no DC. I was expelled on the spot. I did not even know that the principal was wearing a new suit, for example. I mean, like, now I can't go home and tell the, the elders that, hey, I put the principal with water. So I'm sure you know Patima, right? You know Patima. Patima la itimus. Yeah. Mm. So I had to go and enroll there. Um, then the, the community of Mukwase took a decision, Honorable Paulson, yes. that uh, all the learners from Lida are not wanted here. All of them. Yeah, the, the, the SGB, everybody said no. Lida, Channing, and you are not wanted here. So I had to go and enroll in Padzima. Now, at the time, you needed a testimonial. Yeah, so why do you live in the middle of the year to another school? Now, my testimonial <laughs> tells the story of a uh, water arrangement. But 
But because my grandfather was a teacher, he wrote me a testimonial. So some of you here who want a testimonial, I can also write a testimonial. On Tuesday we were meeting the president of the republic in parliament. I want to give him testimony that we had met the people of Moses Kotani and this is testimony. I tell you more. That story of JM Tsime High School will continue to later stage. But for now, for now, welcome. None of you is going to clap hands yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Now, I want to take this opportunity and invite Honorable Kancho. Honorable Kancho is going to tell us how we are going to work today. Now, Honorable Phillips speaks English. Uh, uh, Philip, uh, but she's from the northwest. What's the northwest? At least my papa telling me so. And my Yes, Sky My problems are about to start, and uh, must interpret. Honourable Mkunu uh, is from KwaZulu Natal. Mutuleke Mkunu, what's the KwaZulu Natal? Honourable Mkunu, what's the Zulu? She's a Zulu. Speaking person. And then Honorable Gancho is from the Eastern Cape. Honorable Mutukle Gancho, Utsuako, Eastern Cape. She speaks Tosa. Ubuasi Tosa. We are dead. She's 13. <laughs> And then you have uh, <laughs> Honorable Paulsen is from Honorable Paulsen is from the Western Cape. Eh, Mr. Ferry Paulsen, eh, Western Cape. Agizo, Agizo, Gora. Honorable Paulsen, who Africans? Or Honorable Paulsen, who who move kind? Agizo, 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 but I can I move to a little like African shema. I born in Matsi. Let's get along. And then, but he prefers to speak English. Uh, Honorable Paulson was a lecturer in UWC, UCT, CPUT. In a ele mutlakele di ko CPUT. Honorable Tunu was a teacher. Mutlakele Tunu yena in a ele mutabana. Shem. Honorable Paulson was working in a mine. Uh, Honorable Phillips. Oh, Mutukeri Phillips. Yeah. Oh, she has not even started working. Highly Mutukeri can join several Kitiro has. Now I'm a child of a teacher, so at least I'm somewhere there. Not to one of the Tavana, sorry. I have got teacher 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 I can see my horse. 
I am tating. Modula stilo sets a bullet so for Gabua, Jano Gabua. Now let me greet all of you. I kill you to make the same Bahai Chulote and the chiefs. The cause, mine is just to explain the procedure that we are going to do now. Some may feel like you who tell us that the Lelo who returns a Macayone Humpiano. We are going to request all those who want to make uh, oral submissions to do that by show of hands. We will then identify 10 people from this side and also 10 people from that side. After that, uh, those who are identified, they will have to come and occupy these middle seats. And when you approach the podium, you have to introduce yourself and the organization the organization that you are representing. You indicate whether you support the bill or not. Each speaker will be given five minutes. We know that uh, maybe your inputs will, be, will exceed the five minutes. We will request that you do so by uh, return, submitting a written submission. And also those who are scared to stand up and speak in front of the, of the public, they can also do so by submitting written submission. We have our portfolio committee secretary, Umis Chile Kamatubela, can you rise? She has the forms, she will be able to assist you. We are looking forward to hearing your inputs and your engagements. Please feel free, be comfortable. You can express yourself with your comfortable language. Thank you very much. Eh, a casa la Now let's uh, thank you very much, Honorable Ganjo. Uh, I forgot to tell you that we also have uh, the sign language interpreters. Yeah, so all the languages are essentially covered here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's start on the right and note hands. Okay. So as we note you, you come here. There's something you're going to be told there by staff. You say, you ma'am. You say, you say, you say, you say. I did not even count. Okay, please come to, if I have noted you, come to the queue, this, this, this side.
Okay, how many chairs do we have? We need two more. Two more. Uh, it's women's man. Can I get two women? Yeah. One more. I get one more me honorable the person. Other woman. I get one. I get one more me honorable person. Ubula Matos Kai Dolo. Haki Dolo Kieu. Hey, who not the Northwest? It's very nice in Northwest. Right to our Bangu Tibaka Malibon, Skabai Dolo. Monati. Honorable Mutambi can speak all the languages there, Venda, Tonga, and all of the Next week we will win Limpopo. Uh, the chairperson, um, Ms. Mutambi, will be using the language of her choice that side. We were in KwaZulu Natal. Honorable Mkunu was dealing with us, Kasizulu. And I can go Western Cape, obvious honorable Paulson or some Kakaru. Let him go Western Cape, Ripoku, Pragam, Clary Paulson. And the rare Eastern Cape, honorable Ganjo, Kang Kang Kakaru. Leona in Chaco Eastern Cape, Motu Clary, Ganjo, Lena, or the Senate. Angorim, what about Pupuri? Leona, Harelim, Borema, Felajan. How many do we need? One more. One more hand from oh, the no, right no, side. No, no. Okay, there was that guy. Oh, yeah, it's Liam Segas. Okay, I suspect all of you have heard how we do it. You introduce yourself, tell us your name, uh, if there's an organization you are representing, and we go to issues. Uh, let me let me let me set my timer quickly. It looks like, hey, there's a there's there's a there's a man called uh, Eric Stock here. Kona lere umongo biduang Eric Stock. Where is he? Okay. Wait. Oh, there's that so today. Yeah. Under uh, do Melan that the stock? Yeah. Um, that this dog was with us in Freiburg on Friday. He was with us in Lechtenberg yesterday. And today is here. It tells you how keen, uh, how serious he takes this issue. He is very passionate about this kind of work. Now, now on, on Friday he spoke for 50 minutes. Yesterday, yesterday he spoke for 38 minutes. And when he took the platform yesterday, I went out. And when I, when I came back, I was told that he has confirmed that he's coming here. And I gave him a that uh, it has ended. I mean, 50 plus 38 is already 88. And I suspect even today he's going to want to run another lecture here. Marfandagos and Sam Minier. And Enjo Rex. Please proceed, sir. Afternoon, um, Councillor John Kayser. I represent some of the farmers, and I'm a member of. I'm also a member of the Greater Rasmukfoya Protection Association, 
and a land, landowner in the Willifans Neck area. We've, we, I've been 22 years on the farm, so been fighting quite a few fires already. And we, we do support the bill, but with some changes and some more clarity on some of the issues. We are not implementing the current law. So how, so how are we going to implement the new one? 60% of felt fires do start on state ground. But why do they start on state ground? One, service delivery issues is a big problem. Waste removal doesn't happen. There's no... There's no central places for waste disposal. Rural schools outside of municipality areas. Don't get refuge bins because they don't have a municipality account. So what, what happens is the community sets the stuff alight. Because it becomes a problem for them and a health issue as well. Second place, training. Training doesn't happen about file fires and their act. Remember, we, it's not just a training, it's an education and it's a life skill that we're going to be teaching people. That will save a life sometime. Or and even job creation can happen from there. Third thing, equipment. They don't have their right... Sorry. They don't have the right equipment, PPE, lowers, to assist in fault fires. Come again. To assist in fault fires. <laughs> Fire stations are under-resourced. They don't have the right equipment. According to the Municipal Structures Act number 117 of 1998 and regulations, subsection 8, 1J3 reads the following. Specialized firefighting services such as mountain, mountain felt and the chemical services. How many fire stations do comply with this? If I just take Rustenberg as an example, we have two firefighters, two bakis. The Unimog that's supposed to help with felt fires in the mountain areas are standing for years already. I'm not sure if the problem lies at the call center or some of the firefighters. And I'm not generalizing, please. 
ga kitse gore ana go na le tsona di center tse o tsele gore di athusa bile gape ga ke na go rata go akaretsa o tle when you phone in they say it's not their responsibility to assist with fault fires a o ba phoneela o ba tlhalosetsa gore kwa sha monageng ba re ga se maikarabelo a bone and then there's no time frame on the printed documents ha go na na go e beilweng of when this bill closes and will be acknowledged. State-owned entities must also be part and comply with all regulations. If they don't comply, please issue fines for them as well. I totally agree with peace officers. Traditional leaders to help assist in forcing the law. But who is going to train and oversee their work? Is this a, going to be a door open for criminals? Or more corruption in certain municipalities? Fines and penalties, when last was that renewed? You do get your law abiding citizens that do fire breaks every year. But then you also get the ones that don't. And this is private and state-owned. They would rather pay the fine because it's cheaper than doing the fire break work. Prevention is better than a state disaster or a province disaster. Private property owners, FBAs, are not legally covered when they're out. Fighting the fires where some people don't or can't go in. Can they please get more assistance on that as well? Why is there no further information on MOUs between provinces, neighboring countries? Why must working on fire go to other countries, but they can't get other countries to come and assist us? How many more lives do we need to lose in fault fires? Before the act gets taken seriously. I just want to take a, I'm now I'm probably past my time, I just want to take a second or two. I want to thank all the people that lost their lives in fault fires this season. And the others that's also assisting us in, in this problem. 
le ba le gore ba re thusa mo mathateng ano a rena lona and firefighters working le ba ti ba molelo ba ba dirang in very difficult and un under resourced mo mo tla se ga ma ma emo a thatha ba dira ibile ba sna le ditlabakelo tse di lekaneng tse di maleba fire stations ja ka di station tse no tsa ba tima molelo thank you ke le boga go mena gane councillor kaiser are you you are a councillor in rustenburg you you debate them and they they give you time so you you know when we set time sana ka yona Alright. Next speaker. Sibuise I am standing here with a very serious concern. The invitation. The invitation, how it was being distributed. Remember, as councillors, we are representing our communities. That this bill is affecting them directly. So if the invitation is not being communicated with us, as you indicated program director when you said all the councillors must rise you saw the poor attendance that does not bring justice to this being so that is uh, my concern. My colleague has already um, raised uh, many issues regarding uh, the bill. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, the Honourable Councillor Kaiser, and indeed, we lose many lives, like the one in Derby. We have a farmer in Derby. Uh, and yes, thank you. Nash is saying that. Oh, King Nash are in Joar. We are going to fund it. She knows you. Proceed, sir. Tell us, Peter. Let me greet everybody in the name of peace. Ereke, do me this bote libiton la kuto kota kuto. My name is M Iram Twala. Naki M. E. Ramutwala. I am representing the Fire Protection Association of Rustenberg. Kemezi Mukato Wabalwan Samole Kotabati Mamole Lomorasinbeg. I'm also responsible for the implementation of the Fire Brigade Services Act, Act 99 of 1987. I have realized that there is a gap between the National Felt and Forest Fire Act and the Fire Brigade Services Act, including the Disaster Management Act, Act 57 of 2002. Le Fire Brigade 
That will be including the South African National Standard 10090 Community Protection Against Fire. Se sibuanka nkaya tirele tu ya sechaba khoya ka me lawana e kibuanka yona. Although I will submit a comprehensive uh, input in writing. Getla nela nakadi tuelo kosa di titi yotame se di kwetu mfafati. But I will also indicate that uh, in the definitions of the amendment, I want us to insert the definition of peace officer, chief fire officer, and fire prevention association. Chief Fire Officer, Fire Prevention Officer. Uh, fire Prevention Officer. Uh, I also want the House to take note that there must be a distinguishment of role between the municipality and the Fire Protection uh, Association. This will assist the community because the community might fail to benefit uh, due to uh, unclear roads. Yano ke se u fasika siyami sa sila kona ku unela se chaba molelo molemo se chaba hasi kono ku isuri se katswelo molemo yang kone hasi isuri ditselati ditsabai waya. Let me pause here and I will submit uh, comprehensive input in writing. Ereke mi se fo se dindi nchata me ketla nela na katswana ya kaki du kwe se fafat. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank at large. You want to repeat the Mashaba, Kimalokota Kovakata Bamacha Traditional Council? I'm a committee member from the Council of Bakataba. Mocha. Bamocha. Kilolokola Wat Committee Mumaspale Wam Moretelego Wat 16 Kikara. I'm a Wat Councillor in Moretelo Municipality. Kikara Vella Molofapel Latama Fatili Tikoloho Environment. My job is regarding the lands and environment affairs. Uh, the first and the second speakers, they spoke about time. According to the chairperson, uh, his wish was that uh, we were supposed to have received these documents two, uh, I mean a week or two before. Two weeks or a week before because I don't know whether my fellow attendants uh, got, there is anyone who received these documents a week or two before, but when it comes to me, I receive it today. But however, I want to hear how the captain of the Malawi, because what was the information from Africa, Boro? Be as it may, we support this bill because its intentions is to safeguard our community. Mega hori aloha na leading captain. It's a kira tangu bua katsona disa ADC five, but I think it's in Nyanza. There are four or five points. The first one. There is a good intentions about this bill uh, to handle uh, the issues in our communities. Uh, where I'm coming from in Muritile, most of the land belongs to the 
tribal authorities. I think uh, the chiefs must be engaged uh, regarding this uh, bill. Because fires uh, affects the livelihood of the people, affect the livelihood of the uh, fields, and so forth. Secondly, implements. A, a, any speaker who spoke here spoke about implements. I would like to make an example regarding uh, Moritele. Moritele is consists of various var uh, villages. I will uh, give an example with Kosi uh, Makapare. How level is it? Only one must be long. Fitala fella ona le boradi tuma mo lohu mo ona le di lori te medi kam potsa thar. Sometimes you find that there are only two fire brigade trucks, two or three. The number, the number of firefighters is low, and when you look at the community, the community is a big number. I go for example. January 31 January this year. 31 January this year. As an example. Because we have one on the phone, we around quarter past eleven. We will see Quarter past eleven uh, during the night. Because we have one. Uh, uh, Makapan. Maubani. Maubani. Uh, phone me. Era on corner past 11, like I'm saying. I tell us how the offices are Marafidiaj. Telling me that the, op the tribal uh, offices are burning. Kitsera Han Zeke phone me at around half past 11. I call, I make a call at uh, half past 11. Marabadi tira lo tsahu di mamolo ba fitle in two hours or three hours time the office di file lo rero ri wa yana after two or three hours time uh, the firefighters or fire services arrived o ho bontsa go tlhoka ba hona le responsive fire uh, uh, fire services mo moretile we need the responsive fire uh, fighting in moretile uh, the, the other point is law, it's about law enforcement. There are people who are deliberately creating fires. And no repercussions for that. Now the biggest question for Any other question other chief Makapani, chief uh, Maubani, uh, we don't know who must take uh, steps against people who are creating fires uh, deliberately. That's why I'm requesting that the department and the government must work hand in hand with us. The other points, they are included uh, in our written submission uh, regarding the villages uh, falling under our chiefs in Moritele. We will submit that. I thank you. I greet you all. Uh, the, I, I would like to greet the parliament delegation. Me members of the public who are here. 
Daniel Songwane from Kolekhabile. Daniel Songwane from Kolekhabile. Under Madibe Municipality. Under Madibe Municipality. Kele uh, what committee? Ko what level? What committee <coughs> member at uh, what level? Yeah. Uh, we got a problem regarding firefighters. In the we do have a fire station. Lawrence, it was built. Maybe say ten years back. Ten years back. But Lekacheko was up to this far. It doesn't operate. We do as uh, we use Brett's fire station. And then Brett is too far. Uh, Brett is too far for Madinyani, Lehonyani, Jericho, Lehonyani, Madinyani. If there are houses, we use Brett's the people can die because we are still waiting for Madibeng. So, if we if we pass this bill, we've got enough resources. Uh, and to check as to whether indeed we do have firefighters who can stand for this fire. Especially in Madibe. in Madibe. We have got uh, 41 watts. With only one uh, fire station. With uh, service by one fire station. Yeah, but I want to know how to get the my proposal is that you, delegation, if you can come there and see to it that that station uh, in Leclavile is functioning. Because Renale Hore, but Tobasha Legamodin Kroon, Santana Remetri. Uh, fire station uh, People die in their houses time. when we are still yeah. waiting for bread's uh, fire uh, station yeah, to service us. They are not going to go parliament. Little in the club on our real problem is serious. I requested that parliament should well. come to us yeah. and see uh, uh, our problems we are encountering there. People but, are dying. But I support the bill or a passy and then a lona little and little in audit. I support the bill and I invite you to come and do the audit and check our offices. Yeah, thanks. Telebu. To our community, thank, good morning. Mm, easy. I'm very honored and privileged to hold Nama today. I'm very honored and privileged to hold Nama today. And to thank the, the, the previous speaker who spoke before me. As he is from Madibeng, as well as I am from Madibeng. I am from the what committee 34. Right in Madibeng. Uh, my section is very rural. It's a communal land. Uh, uh, Libito. 
Libiso lama ke afistos mu alusi wa wat komiti from kamu madi bing ne wa wat twenty four afistos mu alusi mu alusi from wat twenty four yes erna lebo ta ta kahore rona retire le kamara komuna lente elengori is very rural. We do have a challenge as we are from the communal, communal land which is very rural. I will request that the leadership of parliament if they can help that the municipalities have to help or assist Last week we experienced a lot of fires in the area of Madinyane. As the ward committee while phoning the municipality, they didn't respond. When the community had to go to try to fight the fire, Community will analyze the kovalo. Where the one member of the community sustained some injuries. We reported the kovalo oyoko maspala. We have reported that injuries to the municipality. Even the municipal manager hand responder as a what committee? Mokole ne manager wako maspala nchazi bu kaja kali lukula committee. Yano mki kupa kumala o. I'm requesting that as this bill is very important because our municipalities are failing us let the community be trained you as the parliamentary delegation train them Train the people so that when they are uh, agent uh, injuries, so that we can consult them. Because Maspala ona batwa mudi mahwa function. The municipality is not helping us at any way. Yeah, kya kupa mo and then mola oga opasi za ubuto kwa. I am asking that, and I do agree with this. As the parliamentarians, especially Madibeng, more especially Madibeng, only the administration from Mungahefti, the only under administration. It was under the administration. It's non-functional. In the previous years, even now, it's non-functional. Kego pahori. I'm requesting that. Mapelo aba tu abuto kwa leba parliament. The people's of the, the people's lives is very crucial. Lona in a hurry. Training everything. Kalibo. Please try to push for the training. Thank you very much. Greetings to everyone who is here today. Let me start with the parliament. Greetings. Let me greet uh, also our chiefs. And give a happy for my councillor And apologize on behalf of my councillor. Who are committed with some negotiations of the conference? Maybe most of the councillors are committed from what nine? From what nine? Kolethabile under Madibeng Municipality Local. In Lethabile under Madibeng Municipality. Parliament. Renale challenge ya ya environment mo mo country yari. Parliament, we do have the challenge of the environment in our country. If you have a the issues, 
the motorist. If we can deal with the issues of the motorist, because most of the time we travel from one place to another. Then you find that the forest is burning. Then you ask yourself, uh, how did it burn? Because there is no water. I experienced something. I have experienced something while I was traveling with my uncle. Uh, After smoking, he threw the cigarette cork through I the think, window. I think it was a problem. It a problem the environment. I'm thinking that also contributes to the challenge of these felt fires that we are experiencing at the moment. And the other issue is that we are experiencing the challenge of The other issue is that we are hunters. Is the hunters and there uh, parliament we are encouraging parliament that is a fellow this amendment this amendment mustn't just end as it is but they have to uh, go back to parliament and sit and, and then discuss about so that we can receive some feedback which is positive. And we only pleased you guys who are We are urging you so that when you finish your program, then you forget all about us. Because we have a serious issues or but challenges. But we are losing people are losing their jobs. We are losing the livestock. And in It becomes a serious problem to us. And then Kerakata will encourage a happy uh, this program is a mile more colour in a I will encourage that this program must even reach our schools so that we can teach our learners. And then another thing is the what committee, Seraga, Connolly, Tuis, or the Conno, or America Lelena. As the ward committees, we would like to assist so that we can work together. Well, they are So that they have to know that the fire. Can uh, it can the come again, sir? What a mollo. Our Siama move visa. So that the fires in the fields is not so, it's not okay. So, Larry Rao Amuhela Molawa amendment. We do submit, we do support this bill. The Rokoba Reverig Sanin. We, we request that we have to work together so that we can win this challenge that we face. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tate uh, uh, As you were speaking, uh, Honorable Kanjo was looking at your property. You can continue, Madam. Dumela, Kirata Ko Dumelisa, Honorable Chairman. Greetings to the Honorable Chairman, Honorable Members, Honorable Members, and the Bahai Suga of Fail, and our uh, uh, Honorable Communities. Nagali Bito Ki Sarako Bedi. I am Sarako Bedi. Kitarako Pochistrum. From Pochistrum. Ikaheng Extension 11. Ikaheng Extension 11. Kimutuiti Mo Northwest Umbrella Fire Protection Association. I am the student in Northwest Umbrella Fire Protection. Efandiwanke FP and MCTA. Subsidized by FPN and CITA. I am unemployed. I am 
I am trained to help or assist the community. Last, last week we assisted in, in extinguishing the fire in Matibeng. The people from Transnet and Water Affairs were not present to assist us with this fire extinction. This fire have already went through to the game reserve. After extinguishing this fire, the government, the people from the government came and gave some the people food, but us we didn't receive even a thing. And the fire breaks. There was a rail trail as well as the river, so there was no fire breaks. Not am very ready fire breaks. Ready me mollo for the Congo. Si releta for the university is a challenge man to abide to it. We had to make this fire uh, fire breaks to prevent the fire from going reaching the the students as well as the uh, residents area. Na niki kopa hore momo la wanuiana otuileni. I am requesting that in this bill, they have to emphasize that the people from Transnet, ESCOM, and San Sandral, they have to do their own fire breaks. Because the fires always start there at the, those areas mentioned. Because the fire breaks, hamolo utola, ngaso ukhono kuchisa manzuka na maru. Because if they have fire breaks, the fire won't reach the houses or the livestock. Because mama lobe, ukhona le ndato mu anat. Last week there was a man who got injured while he was still uh, in, in, putting off the fire in that area. If it should have been me, what was supposed or what was going to happen with my family? As we don't have a medical aid as well as the funeral policies for, 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 the, for the funerals arrangement. Thank you very much. Uh, from Pochestrom Extension 11. Uh, student from Pochestrom. I am the student from uh, Northwest Umbrella. Northwest Umbrella. Fire. Fire. Protection and Association. Protection Association. Uh, but how uh, FND one K F P. Funded by F P. In this new bill, I hope that will, it will assist us so that the government should pay their, their membership fees. Because we are struggling, we have managed to get the, the, the school in town so, so that we can train other people about the fire to assist us. Lack of funds is the challenge. 
We were given the school by Chief Mutibi. What are we, we are requesting from the side of the government is just assistance. Just like the previous speaker have already said, we do assist in the fires, but we are not getting or we are not being appreciated or given something. So now we can't just risk about our lives because we risk for nothing. student, but most of the time, we are the students, but we end up working as the firefighters. Whilst there are people who are paid to do this job, when we pass in this bill, we are requesting that please help us or work with us. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, valuable inputs indeed. Uh, I, 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 it's my job to always give you good news, you know. Okay. The winner of Comrades Marathon is from the Northwest. Mofini. His name uh, is from Mafikeng. His name is Tete Morena Dijan. The, win the person who took the second place in the Comrades Marathon is from the Northwest, is from Rustenburg. Mm -hmm. His name is Edward Muti. Muti. Eh? Eh? Yeah, no, anything that, again, my name is Ntibi Mudiz. So anything that is Ntibi Nyana, so. You, you remember, Mudiz? Eh? And the last speaker here spoke about Chief Mutibi. Yeah, anything that is Ntibi. Ntibi. It's in the blood. It's in the blood. You'll see some, some of the people that I'm going to know there. You will see, the, surely somebody is from Moody's. Let's go. The left. <laughs> I see the old man has already noted himself. Yeah. He, he realizes that I speak a lot, so he says, ah, he'll find me in the front. <laughs> okay. Uh, say, I see you in here. Meg, you want to leave it? Let's go. Eh, Mama. More hands. DDG. You have heard some of the issues that are being raised that they are raised to us, but they are actually speaking to you. Yeah. I see your hand. Women, I won't be disap I won't be disappointed from our women. No, I know for a fact they won't disappoint me. They won't. Who does not want to face this? I mean, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Who does not want to face this? <laughs> huh? <laughs> okay, let's note more hands. Okay, even if it's this side, let's go. I saw, I saw the hand there, the blue. Okay, they are He knows he's the last to speak, so don't worry. 
Why is it now? I will fellow, fellow, who How many more do we need? Oh, fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You are going to be the first, Ndade. Uh, you are going to be the last. You know. The, so stop wasting your time. Uh, Stoki. Don't raise your hand. You are going to be the last to speak. Uh, we are going to give you three hours. Uh, as usual. Okay. The, no, no. The last people to speak will be the chiefs. But... Uh, Stoke is going to give us a lecture as usual. That we know till Ipe Mike. I would like to greet a delegation in front of us. Our chiefs, and all uh, the people who attended the gathering. My name is K. P. Mutusi from Moses Kotani. Uh, I'm representing the farmers. Hey, uh, From the onset, My sometimes I ask myself a question because I, I've been told that this this law was enacted uh, during 1998. Because since 1998, this law did not did, uh, didn't function. How is the new one going to function? We, the rural people, we 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 assume that. Government doesn't care about us. But there are reasons which point to that. Look, if something comes from Parliament and is intended to us, it takes long to reach us. At the last minute, then we are requested to, to give our uh, comments, suggestions. So that means we are not considered as the first people to who can be uh, approached when it comes to the enactment of, of the law. Because we are we are lay people when it comes to uh, 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 law. We need the assistance of those who have uh, who knows better about uh, the law to read and explain to us such that they can give us uh, advice and such that we can give proper and informed uh, suggestions regarding the bill. Tajolo, we are not doing justice. We are, so we don't see justice regarding this uh, 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 regarding these issues. Kikila ka topi wa wana mubla stilo wa FPA FPA Farmer Protection Association. Kena kile chapa sano kupai kibata kwe baaja. 
I was just a joke of a chairperson. Ka gore ba rena re tlhophiwa ne batho ba te wa go te committee ya go le direla 1 2 3 because when we were elected uh, we were told that this committee is going to do to do 1 2 3 issues. Ra go ba trainer they are going to give them the necessary tools or implements which will assist you with all these years we have never received any training of some sort those who were asking about the issues which they have mentioned about, uh, they've mentioned about us and then make us uh, to fight with people. This fight, the government is the instigator because government is not taking us serious. We were just a committee of signing reports. Because at the end of the year, we'll be given reports to sign, nothing else. We were promised implements. Those implements never reached us. Hundred and nine villages in uh, under Moses uh, Get us machines which will assist in creating fire belts. Such that yearly we must get uh, fire belts. That also did not uh, materialize. So, fire station one for One fire station for 109 villages. The question is, will it uh, manage? Come the 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 uh, initially or usually we used to have trucks which were meant for fighting fires but now they are no more they are, they are not functioning that's why I'm saying the government is not taking us serious this issue of uh, fire, it's, it has lots of segments from government. When you go, when you approach the Department of Agriculture, they send you to the Environmental Affairs Department. The uh, Environmental Department will send you to the Disaster Management. Then it's, it seems the government is confusing us intentionally. They want us to give up on this. Uh, uh, in Hapiri, that's where I'm coming from. Or yeah. Papa. When <laughs> oh, our livestock were burnt. agriculture, vet. Yeah, sorry more. And then the agriculture department uh, came to us with a vet. The, uh, the, the, the vet instructed them that they must kill certain livestock. They were a prescription for the regular Rala vet said he And they were given prescription which we were to use to buy some medication in order to heal uh, the other livestock.
Somebody asked, asked that question, when are we going to be assisted? I've got a, a suggestion that uh, we must have a budget which will attend to the issues of when property is lost or somebody died, those people must be compensated. Second suggestion, train the youth uh, to fight the fires. Uh, fire station is satellite. Let, let us not have one fire station. Let us have some satellites as uh, fire stations closer to the people. Let us have awareness campaigns in our villages. Look, today, few people are coming here because they are not aware. Uso, it's a my caravel over Mulemo Pela Molefati. I eat him all out. There are people who are uh, starting fires, and we are requesting that government must make sure that each and every one uh, of this country is informed about uh, the fire issues. Uh, I won't say everything today. As the son has said, thank you. How about it, Remutus? How about it, what watch is on me? So you know the people who are, who are starting fires. Sansur to Zerba Kriabato, Baba Baba Chuma Melelo. Yeah, we know them. I greet you all ladies and gentlemen from parliament and our chiefs Frida Sekanu it's my name from I'm the secretary of the community National Felt and Forest Fire Amendment Bill. How would you amendment? Parliament because this is an amendment bill. It means that government realized that there are some issues which are left behind which were not included in the bill. Yes. Yeah, no. This invitation was not proper. It, it was said that farmers, they are, uh, 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 farmers are invited. Uh, that means if you are not a farmer, you are unable to attend. Yeah, two weeks before. As we have, uh, as, the, as the chairperson said, we were supposed to have received this uh, two weeks before. So that we can read and understand. Read. So that when we stand here. Read. 
we must be in the position to know what is it that we are talking about. I'm, I'm working for the uh, tribal authority of Matau and the community at large. And then we nali we we come to the Burua Komu Kota Bufamara. We are we are we are farming with uh, cattle. It's a communal one. Mogori. We do have livestock camps. We people are employed to take care uh, of livestock. When there when the, uh, there is fire at the uh, livestock camps. We, the residents, we were unable to go to the field to assist uh, in extinguishing the fire. As matter uh, residents, we don't know anything about uh, extinguishing the fire. I experienced uh, an incident where uh, fell, uh, 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 was burned and it ended up uh, engulfing uh, a certain homestead as well. Yeah, no. Naga Kibula, Kizi Hori, Ner Kabutuna Limut, Huna Limulo, Momoti, Nekosi Ari, Aquil Leta Casawa, who are Huna Limulo, Ever to our boy, Roti Mamulo. What my experience is that if there is fire in our area, a, a chief or Kosi will use a loudspeaker in uh, calling all the residents to come and assist in uh, the extinguishing of the fire and the whole members of the community will will rush to to the scene yeah. In the older days, we used to use uh, mealy meal bags or old blankets. We would wet them and then extinguish fire with them. But today, we do have bags, we do have old blankets, but there is no water. That house was engulfed to the ground uh, because we didn't know where to get water. Uh, we, the rural people, we are requesting that our communities should be trained under the leadership of our chieftainship, such so, that when there is fire, shall be. So, how can I train you? Keep up our in Emma Mendele, we more the amendment day. For who can I train you? Training you is simple. Uh, so that this direction. Which direction uh, Now, uh, there is the training must be done under our chiefs such that our communities should be trained as to 
how to fight the blaze. If the blaze is coming from one side, what is it that we are expected to do? So, training highly thing, reload fenya semulisim, reload a rule number or a miracle, and a baba and a liba to our bajisa, liba and a baba train, and a mullo all in the good list of the book in that the Omoa were worried, Cosi and Amufu in the Ari Officia Maratiat. Yeah, the training will be beneficial to the community, uh, to people like myself who are having camps for the livestock. We would impart that knowledge to the people who are taking care of our, our livestock as well. I heard one of the speakers say that uh, at some stage he was called by uh, a chief informing him. Therapy. Informing him that the traditional office is burning. <laughs> Yeah, in our tribal offices, we don't have fire extinguishers. electricity. It is not the other issue is the fire caused by electricity. We don't have any knowledge as to how to extinguish uh, such uh, fires. I'm talking on behalf of our tribal authority because we don't have uh, such equipment in our offices. Supply us with fire extinguisher. Sub try to teach us how to fight fire. Supply us with everything. This thing I'm worried about. Ritiwe <laughs> Tender, uh, tender is a problem because each and everything which is done nowadays, the name tender is attached to that. That it is not assisting us. Give us training. Give us equipment. I thank you. Frida, Greetings to everyone who's here today. Fapele, Honorable members from our lovely government. I'm uh, Mr. Tote. 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 Those people who have already spoken have already said a lot. We are from, we are from Pampirstad under 
Mabal Start. Mabal Akhir. We have from Rap Rapiri. Motlas Ramas Palawa. Bujanala. Moses Kotani. Moses Kotani's municipality. Bianu ke ke tsweni ke le thata ka go bane ya ka gare motsuja sa tlhalotse gore re na le metsane 109 concern as the previous speaker have already said we have 109 villages mar ga gona ga gona le fire station e wane mo metsi 109 but there is no even a single fire station in this 109 villages bana ba tla ba tshoswa le ke di lori ga di tlile tsa fire station tsa fire brigade di o tima mollo go go ga di bo ba di bona ba tshoga ga ba di our children are even afraid of this fires uh, fire trucks because they see it for the first time they don't know them be a nne ke go pa tota ka mollo o botlhoko o a senya I am humbly requesting because the fire is very challenging and it's very destroying. Bianu mpuso khane e ka tumetsa the fire brigade of the fire station e gaufi le rona ka rona re na go di rural area. If the government would bring the fire station closer to us as we are staying from the rural areas. Re ka itumela tota gore mo bile e e ba metlelle We will be very grateful with this bill should he, so that it can look at this issue of the fire stations. Se se mo se 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 ntshwenyang re sna di fire station e biana ke gore mollo ga o gobetse o tshwanetse go bona eh the nest What is disturbing again is that when we have injuries from the fire you have to be attended by the nurses be ano rona clinic ya rona ba gaetso e bere ka mandaga to friday unfortunately our clinic operates only from monday to friday ga mollo ka go fisa ka saturday go ra go rotla bo bone clinic ka manta should you be bent during the weekend that means you will get the assistant during on monday be ano ke go pa puso etse tsia sere langa ga sone e re ga ba mametella molao bile ya rona ya mollo We are requesting that when the government is implementing this bill, they should take note of the issues that we have already raised. Thank you very much. Sante dile den di clinic tse di etsa nyana. Because ba chamos ba ba no ka free ta gara setter ta ga le sontag be ba loana be ba tlhabana. So ba ba ilo tusiwa ka manta. Eh ke go pa go pa ne le meole. Eh o montlo. The secretary there at the corner could assist. O bue ka ganye fellows ka bue tse di. Just address the very same issue, of, only not not the others. Skatlo wa ise nyanda detu de uwe fe laga e. All right. Tsela pilem. Kerata kudu medisa maloko alingfano a parliamente leva diri baba tuangu parliamente. Greetings to the honourable members of the parliament as well as the parliamentary officials. Ke boe ke di medise se go se se leng fano le phutego e go kwaneng fo fo bitsong e and to greet also our chiefs as well as the community which is here today ke bidiwa ke ana o morena i am ke ana o morena ke land owner ko madibeng local municipality i am a land owner in madibeng local municipality ke bile ke le loko la greater rustenburg fire protection association the member of the greater madibem fire association ke tlile ko mo go kwanong e in my personal capacity go tla go ithuta go le go ntsinyana ka tsamello i am here on my personal capacity to come here or to learn some other things about the fires 
se ke ratang go se botsa ke gore e puso e dirang ka mpo ke matsapa a feng a puso e a tsayang go netefatsa gore di members tsa community ka mpo the general public in na le kitso e rileng ka molao le melawana e laolang tsa mello what i would like to hear from the parliamentary delegation is that what are they doing as a government to see to it that people uh, uh, have the knowledge of this bill that we are uh, discussing today. Ka ngwa ga wa 2020 fa ke sena go goroga ko placing ko Madibeng. In 2020 when I arrived in the farm in Madibeng, ke ne ke sena ditlabakelo tsa go phepa fatsa plaza. I didn't have the equipments to clean the farm. The grass was very high. We end up taking some water to demarcate the area that we that needed to be cleaned. Then we burned that fire. In the short period, then the other, the neighboring farmer approached us. He told us that he was going to come and make sure that uh, how did the fire started and is not going to the other areas or the other farmers. He told us that invitation ya gore re ikwadise mo mogatlong o wa greater rustenburg fire protection association that is why he gave us the invitation to register ourselves under the organization that i have been mentioned gona le puo ya seng e ring ignorance is not an excuse there is the gona le puo engwe e buegangya gore we didn't know anything about fires until we found ourselves in that situation where we had to clean up and start the, make the fire uh, on that day. Kajalo ke rata ho sapota di suggestions le di proposal tso tsotlhe tse di dirilweng go fitla mo nakong e gore go nne le training i would like to support the suggestions which have been or have already been made that they have to be a training for the communities fela ke kopa gore training e ske ya nna fela ko ba dire di busong ka mpo ko di famareng ka go nne mollo gore affecta ro rotlhe the training should not only uh, being uh, been taken by the farmers or the government institutions as the fire affects all of us kerata go tshela go le nene fela ka pampisana e pinki e ke tshwereng fane e a bili i just want to suggest with this little pink paper that i'm having of the bill eh gara gara fi wa nako e lekaneng go buisa fela we were not afford, afforded enough time to go through this bill, but I would love to, to quote from that item 9. More item 9.7, Ibu Isa Khayana, the bill grants peace officers and traditional leaders the power to enter, search, arrest, and seize relevant evidentiary material in the enforcement of the act. That clause explains that explains that the government have to 9.7. Sorry, mm Ranya. -hmm. 9.7. Oh, the uh, 9.7. Yo, 
Yone Italusayana. The Bill Grants Peace Officers, okay. Mola Trumo Onu Unea, Batanke, the Baka Hisolabeta, Pilbasset, or Detacta, Zaupu, Pusa, Hotara, Lihotabu, Paki, Bumelu, Jobu, Maliba, Moru, Dirahatse, Mulao. Item 9.7, Ehe Kibala, Kibeki, Kibua, Kibisa, 9.12. This clause, when I am reading it with clause 9.9.12. Can you see the disjuncture between the two clauses? I noticed that there is, the, uh, there is disjunct, disjuncture between these two clauses. Clause 9.7 is the peace officers, the traditional leaders, who are the people who are the Eh, mola o o tena tiriso fela 9.12 yona e bona e re ga go necessary go refera bili e go the house of national oh, sorry go the national house of traditional and quezon leaders the clause 9.7 it's saying clause uh, uh, 9.12 is saying quite the opposite of the 9.7 Thank you very much. Greetings to everyone. Greeting you all, uh, protocol observed. Na ketwa ko what for ko karonya moritele. From what for from the area of moritele. Ke representa ba luole temo. Representing the farmers and agriculture. Kali na kile Jacob Munyeki. I'm Jacob Mulite. Munyeki M O N Y E K I. Muny mo Munyeki. Muleki. Munyeki. Munyeki. Thank you, Mama. Right, uh, this amendment bill. I will start by supporting this amendment bill. disadvantages. Uh, but it, does, it has some disadvantages. We don't have roads. We don't have water. Trainers. We don't have the people who can the trainers. Right. The law is that the timamolo had the clad to it timamolo. Do not say mayakai. These fire uh, fighter trucks, when they come, where which route they are going to use, as we don't have roads. Do not say mayakai. Where are they going to get water? Mokin nang kese khalasa eight kilometers. Where I am residing is about eight kilometers. Where they could get some water. And that road that they're supposed to use. It got lots of potholes. But the national road. But it's a national road. The other thing. We don't have camps. It's just an open space, so we can't control our livestock. Even though they can make fire burns, they won't assist at all. So, Parliament is here to, 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 to the people. Repuso. As it says, it is the government. So, how does that blame you? Rather blame the government, the government itself. We won't blame the government as we are the government ourselves. We are going to blame our leaders. And never ever be pimp. And, uh, <laughs> hey. We are going to tell about these councillors in the parliament. As it has to follow certain steps. 
We are telling our, uh, the, our councillors that we need the services. We don't have services at all. Then we will jump them and go snitch them there at the parliament. We, check, we will look at the law of the, gov the, the part which is governing. If you're looking for the services, let we let be the fire. But no smoke, no service deliveries. No smoke, no service delivery. Thank you very much. Papa. <laughs> I greet you, Chairperson. Oh, hi, you, Chairperson. Maybe you may not speak. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, my name is Niniba Matala from what 46? Niniba Matala from what 6? Uh, municipality. And I'm Ritile Municipality. Uh, I do agree with this bill. Okay, I'm because that's an improvement, improvement of the previous one. We will start to see the difference. Okay. Uh, the point, uh, I'm, I'm glad because most of the speakers such a ba ba bari makile kanto ene ke batla go ibuka most of the speakers have alluded to the points which i was intending to raise it looks like huna in the rural areas we are forgotten nation na re lebetswe re na batho ba metse magae how would the department gore why are we not getting attention like other provinces? The provinces are not getting attention. When you ask the departments, why are we not taken into consideration like other provinces? We would be told that uh, provinces like Houteng are the ones who are raking the whole budget. And then to a province of Tonali Northwest, Kiona is a highly rural and in a more farms than Bohaudi. A, a province like Northwest is a, a rural area. It has got more farms than Bohaudi. For why budget is not why is their budget so minute? And it comes to the very same point. The issue of firefighters. No only two ladies, a, a gentleman and a lady, one alimo, babua kore bakodi kolong. They volunteered for a study towards this thing, and they are not considered. There was a young lady and a young man who told this gathering that they are at the uh, training institutions, and uh, but they are not uh, being considered. From now on, because now they want to improve the service as the government, training. My suggestion is that we do have a, a youth who have passed metric. We should train them uh, to do such jobs. To minimize unemployment. 
se tlhogo sa botlhoka tiro also having you included go di kolo the very similar way the when the department of health and uh, introduce our occupational health and safety money company let's have this education on the lower level let's for take this go or science kolo will be able to know for how like that major so ola tela mola you'll be causing let's take this to the school just as the department has done with health and safety and also to train or to educate even the grannies and the opas to know that if you start fire uh, it's not a good thing if we know for a hamolo no little uma tela mezi or motela mu kuna limilo e le gore they are different how about the gore o sebedise mezi or o sebedise initially we used to use uh, water or sand but there are fires which you can't use those we need that training we need that education e re tloka thupello re tloka go katisiwa Thank you. Dumelang. I greet you. I would like to, uh, uh, to acknowledge our chiefs and everybody who's here. Uh, to be present here today, it shows that you take this issue of fires very serious. Kamohelo Masilo is my name from from Bapong from what 28 from what 28. I'm, I'm also uh, under Northwest Umbrella Fire Fighters or Associations. I'm representing the residents of Bujanala. Uh, I would like to request that we must uh, uh, have a moment of silence uh, in respect of the people who lost their lives due to these uh, fires, hazards. Thank you. First point, training issues. We, we do have students who, uh, who, whom we are training, but we've got a, a challenge of equipment. We wish to work hand in hand with other countries, but we can't do that because we don't have implements. Or tools for uh, we would like to uh, request Parliament to assist us. Look, if somebody calls for assistance uh, in order for one to go and assist in extinguishing the fire, you must have a vehicle to drive to that place. We don't have vehicles. We, many people die because we don't have equipment or tools of trade. Uh, what about are here you are talking about farmers but what 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 do you say about uh, those who bent in their homes those who lost their uh, their houses last month last last year 
Last year we received calls during the night. Imagine a very far distance and heading to Mukwase to extinguish fire there. No vehicles, no equipment to fight the fire. When, when we arrived there, everything was down to ashes. Parliament assists us with those tools. 16 houses burned. Uh, we were assisted by the place where Mr. Mahano was employed. We managed, we managed to give those people uh, food and mattresses, and, but those people, they need some more uh, assistance. I think we, uh, I'm suggesting that we must have uh, even pilot uh, uh, places which will assist these people if they are encountering such problems. Uh, what are we doing with those who are burning our farms? Because the chief cannot go and confront that person. Uh, when a chief takes steps against that person, is, is the chief expected to be the one who is facing that person uh, in a court of law? That is why our people, uh, they end up losing hope because they don't have means to attend uh, time and time uh, court sessions. The other thing, I would like to raise is the school programs. I commit myself to do such programs at school as I've already started. I think uh, as a youth, the learners, they listen uh, to you uh, 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 as a youth when you approach them and uh, uh, make them aware about certain things and give them certain information uh, other than an elderly person. People are still going to die because we are just talking and doing nothing. Something must be done. We, we cannot gather and talk and no feedback. Back to training. to training. We are training other youth and then after they've qualified, nothing is happening to them, nobody is taking care of, of them. Please take note of that. Another challenge. Farmers doesn't have fire breakings. Some would say, no, I don't have money to, to 
government. We have a plan that government should. But uh, uh, the government. At least, if you have a problem with the government, you can register it and you can register it. You can register it. The farmers who are having farmers uh, legally, they, there must be some fees which they are paying. Which we are paying. Uh, not everybody can afford. Uh, some, they do wish to assist, but they, 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 they can't. Many people, some of them lost their livestock. Many people are dependent on, on their livestock. So imagine after the livestock has been, how is it going to survive? Fire is important. Some use fire to, to cook. Rile kopa gore ga le khotsa mollo ko malapeng. Ja ka go la le lo se di ga le khotsa mello. Le make sure gore fa le gole tsa mollo foteng ga go na sepe se se ka Make sure that when you make fire there is nothing next to that fire which can exacerbate uh, the problem. Thank you. I think I think we will work together to to fight this. Uh, another last point. I thank you. Uh, yeah. Together we can win. When you see the neighboring farm burning, don't just look and say, no, it's not mine. You must assist because next time it will be you looking for something from that uh, farm. I thank you. Thank you. I would like to greet the parliament uh, delegation, our and chiefs, and the public at large. Sunny boy, Sirunye. Sunny boy, Sirunye. Sunny boy, Sirunye. From what, 36? Rustenburg municipal, local municipalities. Rustenburg local municipality. Safe our species. Uh, Within Mahalisbek biosphere. We as nature lovers. Uh, some of the people over in Some of the people go to the mountain. Uh, I'm staying on the mountain. And people within the heart of Mahalisbek, and they threw everything there in Mahalisbek. So if let's say you cause a fire, government uh, motor, high or bottle, all that we own, any plastic, it result a fire. Because people don't, they throw stuff there. Uh, they, they don't have the knowledge that a bottle or a plastic can cause fire on its own. It's not a, a match uh, a stick only which causes fire. So when the fire the fire engulfs the mountains. We are ignorant because we think because we are not noticing that, that fire is coming down to us as well. 
e ka mo ga ke itemogetseng ka teng ya no ke ne ke kopa mo mo go feteleng ga bili o parliamente i would like to propose that in the amendment uh, uh, of the bill gore le tsenya tirisong ka gore ke le mogile gore go mo dithabe mo a gona gore o ka nna le 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 baya beria in fact look the mountains you must take note of the mountains because you can't make a fire belt unless gona le hiking tree and you have to apply for it again uh, uh, unless you have a hiding drill which you you will need to apply for it so ne ke kopa bo ikwelo mo ma parliamenteng gore ba itsenya tirisong ya gore go nne le thuto go dikolong gore from the great r bana ba itse gore rona re le batho ke rona re khosa mollo mollo go khosa ke pholo go lo khosa ke rona ba batho ba phela mo lefatsheng teach the uh, the children at school uh, give them the knowledge that we the people we are the ones who are causing fire ka gore ka o khosa ka yone sekerete ba 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 nna negligent ba latela go lisa mo go can also cause fire because people are throwing cigarette ends so eh ke kopa ba parliament gore ba ka ba ka go kanna ditabakelo tselong gore ga bona le mollo bana go nna le that a full responsive I would, I would like to ask parliament to implement uh, things which will assist uh, during fire uh, speedily as an affected person or yeah. targeting within that the democratic bias of which is a cradle of life yeah, and na ya ka ke amega ebile ke nna ko magalisi kwa ebile e le le felo le le tsewang e le le felo le o bare botshelo go simoletse mo go lona so ga ke batlo go bona eh se pe fela se tshwe ka nna se tlhare e planta e ka nna phologolo e vulnerable e le gore dikhosa ke ke rona batho anything dying whether it's plant human being animal and so forth so ke kopa gore le parliament ba ka raise issue e ka gore gore is not just a mountain raise is a taba e nna le 2.5 billion in tsene temo raise this issue because it is it is not just a mountain it has 2 billion years uh, existence e ya ke kopela ga pele mo gore le e se mbana fela le batho ba batho ona bana ba 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 le gore ga bana ga ga go na le batho le gore ga ba ga ba ga ba we gore go ka nna le campaign tsa tsedietse gore go nne batho ba itse gore the danger of fire ke teach also the adults because there are people who are uh, who are not aware about the danger of fires e ka gore ya no ka le bo ga i thank you thank you मबानी <laughs> लोजे <laughs> so khosa ka mo lo kidulang ke di plus every one na le tlhaloganya ga gore ne rona re be re ke go are do liko ke di business ma khwala tla ana le batho ba be re ka matle ilo timomollo ke no as i am from the farm areas uh, those people have that thinking that they are not uh, affected is the area of the business business people who are staying there so if we get okay fine since we got low to south di mayana so those guys have bahala get no for all these people like it's because no harm in the world be their stuff 
and I can get a chance to go to this thing. I only get to it today. So in the area, at least the parliament there push out our municipalities, or at least the you know, and some initiative, the training for youth. Because the youth is sometimes so like motor no do like what you have school. Everything we go on, I have to see. I'll get more low time. I'm suggesting that the government should assist in terms of trainings because some youth are not aware of such things. And even the motor was the one who are doing for how they are doing it. How they obviously like it's a hit or they can. Even along that road of ours, it got a long, lengthy, long grass. So should it burn? It's going to be disaster. Exactly, because the municipality has a responsibility to hire a people who are supposed to use the soil. The municipality is their responsibility to hire the people who are supposed to clear the grass along the road. Exactly, because if you have a truck or a truck, you can get a truck or a truck. You can get a truck or a truck. That's why I don't have to worry about it. Because if you have a mentality, the government is doing it. On a dit PWP, a dit que vous avez des sixes. La clarée tourne, elle est femme, obviamente. Sur la guide, on a, like, sur les listes, on a un canalé, every community, on a un community center, où vous faites les listes, là, vous avez des opportunités, vous avez des right listes, il y a un éducation, il y a un. Et ça, il y a une chose de la communauté. Due to the very same reasons that I have already mentioned, that's why you see the youth sitting, just idling, not helping or assisting. Because there's lack of training. Even even this thing here, the firefighters. Yes, somebody like a friend of mine over there is a firefighter. I complain he lega kaka salary. Because this thing here, how about daily too much? So everyone obviously is interested to hold join at this thing. Yes, the, the the salary is not enough. That's why you see people who most of the people are not interested in this fire uh, fighting because. There is no motivation in terms of money. Exactly, like seriously. So the government, at least the parliament, they have to push the municipalities. They have to root the this thing. We have no idea what we have to say against the members of the community because they are all of it. Right, we have no idea for now. Money doesn't mean we have no idea for it. I am also saying that parliament should help, assist in terms of training, as everybody needs the training. Because even two months back, I don't know how much I was able to do it. 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 Spring back. I was able to do it. I was able to do it. People were few. Firefighters were able to do it. I was able to do it. So you know that I was able to do it. I was able to do it. I was able to do it. I had an experience. I was able to pay for it. I was able to do it. I was able to do it. I was able to do it. So I was able to do it. So Even those, those areas that are affected by the fires, uh, in, in most cases, we, we can't assist. So in the area, even like now, I go to my good leadership of Wagapazi. These people have been the left fire station, but I get four million. Even I get compare, so for the little go I think is, is far better than that. And I'm going to get a little bit of 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 a little bit our neighboring communities, like Google, when I was about to go up here and stuff, man, I did plus if these people, the farm, I get more to buy them. So this thing, yeah, I very security, so very good. Just the yeah, go fire station, yeah, yeah, that was on a safe, because it's a car. We were of the opinion that that truck was going to assist. Even the security is no longer there; that it's just standing as a white elephant. So like in the at least there's a community, at least the parliament they push these people about it because the Pazima is under what to animal it looks like a kitty. You got to go somewhere so you have found out. You got to go a good zero. We are requesting parliament to uh, uh, put pressure for that uh, station to work. And now we're going to have a man's kids on the phone and we're going to have somebody to come in and say it's a real true support. Thank you very much.
Melamba Holo, Ome Mobile Monaki Pavalo Peleu. Pavalo Peleu, greetings to you all. Okay, Otaraku, Pochit from Ikaheng Extension 11. From Ikaheng Pochit from Extension 11. So Baholo Baga Kema Monaki Momo Rehile Tata, Cute Lego Trogo, Ibi Lake Copa. I am very concerned and hateful when while I'm standing here, I'm requesting from our parliament. Because I since If I can remember since I was in this training, there was a day. Where, where there was a, a very a big fire which was even approaching the area that we are residing on. And I guess she a in a But our, as our PP was not enough, but we had to fight that fire. Uh, at the moment, you are staying permanently in uh, uh, Fentersdorp because we have noted many things. The municipality is not doing their duty. Because I know if we didn't uh, assist on that day, there should have been a disaster. So for parliament, it At least I am requesting that Parliament should come with a plan to help us and to assist the others in terms of training. Thank you. And to reduce the unemployment rate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Pavallo. Uh, Stogi. Uh, what is that? What is that? Uh, I'm, I'm addressing you, you're pointing somebody else. Uh, uh, no, no, but, no, but I'm addressing you, Stogi. Uh, I don't understand why am I addressing you and you're pointing somebody else. Uh, uh, I'm taking the last round. Uh, you are the first to stand and you are going to be the last to speak. Right? You know the reasons. Right? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to request to take the last round of hands. I'm doing, I'm doing this because some of the issues are really a repetition. Um, we value all your inputs. But everybody talks about training. We have noted that. Uh, Lack of water and resources to extinguish the fires. So I'm taking a last round, preferably five. That day you went, your hand was up. You sit there and you raise your hand and then you are called before you occupy. Uh, 
No, there's only one chaperone here. <laughs> so you and your friends are green there in the corner to take this, the center. Right, so you'll be the second. You'll be the second when. Motokarao will be the third. Can we get the last hand? Okay, make you Linda. You can come to the house. You can come to the house. You can come to the house. You can come to the my men got the tracksuit suit Adidas. Adidas. I chose track suit Adidas at Tamela. No, 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 lift. no, 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 lift. no, 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 Okay, these are the last speakers, and then uh, Eric Tabostok will give us a lecture and prayer. Um, Honorable Program Director, and the House at large, and simply say all protocols observed. I also want to particularly signal out uh, um, My name is Kumo Mahano. I am representing quite a few organizations, which, uh, both business sector, civil society as well. From the business sector side, I'm part of a company group called Beyond Mining Solutions. Beyond Mining Solutions, another entity is called Akakumo Financial Services. From the civil society space, I'm part of an, an, an initiative called Tsulabutu Foundation. But today, as I speak, I'll be talking from the perspective of the Northwest Umbrella Fire Protection Association. As the deputy chair to that the Eric stopping the progress. Honorable Chair, I feel intimidated when you react like that. <laughs> you know that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's okay. Very, very, very briefly, I'm going to do my level best not to repeat all that has been said. So, Honorable Chair, I always see that when we go into other provinces, our traditional leaders are referred to as kings. Even yeah, when yeah. we refer to other traditional leaders overseas in England, we refer to them as kings. Yeah, but no, what yeah. surprises me is that when you come to Bukonibu Pirima to Northwest, you don't refer to our traditional leaders as kings. Okay. You call them chiefs. Okay. okay. Yeah, no, yeah. So I'm making a humble plea that let's be consistent with that. And yeah. part of the reason is, is because one of the officials from parliament, when they greeted me when I arrived, they said, greetings, chief. Yeah. Chief, 
So let's be cognizant of that because we also are in political circles. We'll greet a hey, chief, how's it? And then yet we also refer to our traditional leaders again as chiefs. We don't take that very well. Yeah, so first and foremost, in principle, we support the bill, but of course with certain proposed amendments to it. And I think first and foremost, for purposes of accessibility, I'm hoping that the literature that we have on this uh, bill we also have it in brain to ensure inclusivity and accessibility of people who are blind or partially blind. Because if we have if we have not done that, and I hope that we did get to ensure that we also have it in brain, otherwise we automatically limit or indirectly or unintentionally discriminate against those that yeah, no, uh, hey. rely on brain. <laughs> one point is with regards to reporting and communication. So I think it is important that when we plan ahead to look at the amendment of the bill, let us also try to take stock as to since 1998 with the first inception of the bill, what is it that has worked well, what is it that hasn't worked well, and how do we rectify that so that as we try to draft a new agenda, we know exactly where we come from because unfortunately some of our grassroots communities are not fully cognizant of that. <laughs> Thank you. And I think the other thing has to do with incident reporting. When we get to check some of the so-called official statistics that you are reporting upon, visas what is actually happening at ground level there is a huge disparity by nearly almost 500 percent so in some cases you will find that for Ripotiwa, approximately two to three hundred fires during a certain duration of the fire season and yet we on the ground reported up to or plus or in excess of more than three thousand so if you are going to be basing your planning on the basis of non-factual reporting or non-factual incident reporting it would then therefore disposition you to strategically plan meaningfully so and allocate the rightful kind of resources. So maybe let's look at how it is that we can try to synchronize the whole issue of incident reporting, particularly with those of us that are at the ground level. The third point has to do with stakeholder engagement and participants thereof. If you look at the nature of the issues to do with firefighting, environment, forestry, and fishery related matters, it involves multiple uh, role players and stakeholders. But what surprises me is that I don't think we've got a, fr a fair representation of those multiple stakeholders so that we can engage with each other and not, not necessarily in silos because we do impact on each other one way or the other. <laughs> Thank you. 
My second last input has to do with the institutionalization of fire protection association. We want to propose that instead of referring to them as associations, but that we rather amend them to be fire protection authorities, and subsequent to that, we facilitate a process of incorporating them as state-owned entities that have a fair representation from national level all the way to a local level, whereby there is a joint participation and joint level of accountability between government, private sector, and civil society. We've been talking a lot about the district development model that is currently being piloted in various areas of the country. We can start at that level as well, and perhaps maybe also for purposes of accountability, perhaps maybe from office of the DDG, we can even ensure that officials are also allocated specific deliverables and specific areas with performance contracts as well, so that if people are not performing, they can be held accountable, and there is a rightful human resource process to replace those people if they are not performing as per their performance requirements. Uh, my last point has to do with strategic planning. Sorry? My planning. last point has to do with strategic planning, planning ahead. Yanohe. Nkaya miya bofelo, kinkaya podele pele, maano, a la samakana lohore. Faren zirzo lezi, kopele kwa, retla diraya. Underneath that, the first point has to do with issues of self-sufficiency, meaning how do we take this particular ministry and position it such that it is not a liability to the state and to the civilians, but we rather, where opportunities exist, try to translate it into some form of equity of some sort. For example, a lot of corporates get to talk about what we refer to as the green economy. A simple example, we've got a serious problem of sewage. We can easily take that sewage without even tapping into current non-functional infrastructure of water waste treatment plant, even put up containerized water waste treatment plant solutions or facilities, take some of that waste you know, separate the solid waste, take grey water, use some of that water, purify it up to a state of being able to utilize some of that water to actually be, be able to, be, to, to put out some of these fires. The technology is there. But that is just an example amongst many of how we can start to monetize some of the elements of the broader ecosystem and taking some of the challenges that we have and translate them into an economy that can subsequently or in return even back to finance the very same challenges that we are having so that we are not always going with a hand, you know, and a bowl and a begging hand, but rather it is a give and take. Motala, and the, the, the last point underneath that subtopic or heading is influence of policy. And I'm going to give you an example. If you get to look at the sustainability agenda of the mining sector, 
whom, by the way, is holding a big chunk of the land in the Northwest province. A lot of the times when mining houses get to talk about a sustainability agenda, they have what is called a mining recovery fund. A lot of the times that mining recovery uh, or mining community recovery fund is tapped into, it is only when the mining operation shuts down. Now, if a mine's life of span is 30 years or more, it means that we cannot touch that money until in 30 years' time. So meaning some of us in our lifetime would never be able to even see or tap into those resources. So let's get to look at other alternative industries that are existent in our areas of influence, for example, in the province, like mining, and say, how do we at a national level start fostering conversations to even ensure that if it means that we get to influence DMR, you say when you formulate some of your SLPs as mining companies, a certain proportion, let it go towards restoration of the environment, okay. investment in the environment with an immediate effect. Are le beni di lo di tsana le di mine. Ya ka rena di mine tse di ntsi mo northwest eh di mine di na le ditsela tsa go itirela dilo tsa bona go tsana le go tlatswa metsi dilo tse di ntsi ya. Le rena re le sechaba re ne le ditsela tsa re khona go fitlhella dilo tse mo tlala o fitlhele mine o na le contract ya 30 years re tla fitlhelela khotsa re tla khona go fitlhela dilo tse di tlotseng ke mine fela he mine o tswaletse fa mine o santsa no tshela gara le tlhelelwa hore re ka dirisa dilo tse eh i believe that other inputs will be submitted they've been writing uh, uh, with all that being said, like you could say, Kapore, the Taudi stand is a booker. The CY no no so it holds, and therefore together we can do more. I thank you, Mr. Chair. You invited me to stand, divided me fall. Let's work together. Kalebo. I've seen on your amendment bill on page 8, you speak of uh, financial implications. So you mentioned there's a budget there. budget. Oh, sorry. I'm from local municipality what six in program of kopa go tswa go moretile municipality what six the budget that you mentioned there we want to know how much is it tekanyetso go tsa budget e o bileng ka yone o ikwetse mo re batla go itse gore na ke bokae does it also include a uh, building more fire station aye a ka reditse le go ka go agiwa ga di station tse ding gapetsa di station tsa 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 batima mollo thank you Greetings to the honorable members up there. The community at large. I am from Coastal. Oh, Lina Kimaka. The Beret is a canal lady I do have a livestock. So, collection and how far? That is the location at that area. Merco Bahor government. I said, like a little Sir Gatlavasa. It's not only me, but I am requesting that government. We are requesting the place or the land so that we can take our livestock to that farm. Libito. Bautisileke. Bautisileke, that's my name. So. 
di fula mo le station e le kenyane di fula mo yo ha ke level like a it's a 230 hectares the area where our livestock is grazing it can be plus minus 230 hectares so enyane ya ka go fiswa tlhaga ya mang le mang re ga o wa tsoga go le mosi go ga o sheba tlhaga ya sha kampa ya sha ga dina go di ja le go teng the area is very small as you can see now at the season fire seasons they end up not having the grazing land o bo kra e le gore le le pholi tlhaga e nna go teng ke like le ya go tshwana le foma di tlema bi tla rona ga ka even the area where they are grazing at that moment is just at the graveyard as it is not fenced delegation as go ya ka go mora go ka go campaign a go a campaign ba swiri khomotse ga tlhaga e shele di khono go fila go fitla mo di jardin tsa batho ba bawe o bo tra e le gore ga re dira ke rotlhe dilo tse di rilweng ya ka re le ba tho ba ba ruli wa ba di khomo o kra e ka re rona re di tshotse ra di tsenya mo di jardin due to lack of enough space for grazing this livestock end up reaching the locations and it's not everybody who has the love for the livestock so it seems like we we, we put our livestock in the people's yards or in the location so ke ka mone ke kopela gore if ha ile gore go ka nna le diplas government de le na skare le bala ka mo coster gore tse le go la rona a re khona go le tsenya go that is why I am requesting government that should there be uh, some farms can at least remember us so that we can get some farms to put our livestock in. Thank you very much. This is Women's Month. Let's say the let's show it as women that this is almost the end of the Women's Month. Okay. Let's have confidence. We can lead. Women, we can lead. Okay, Bapolo. They give us the document today, but yeah. at least Luna Yawita, some they have achieved it in the previous days. I would like to thank you because in most cases I do attend this public hearing and this one is a little bit different from the others that I have already attended. Because at least you managed to give out some documents prior to the, the, the meeting. Another thing, Negri Raya Mohela, this amendment. We support this bill. And another thing, Enil Khore Negri Bata Khore, yes, I will align myself with the first speaker, Habwa Gadifaya, Thing Baba Tusamba. It is part of the plan. We will take the decision. We will judge the decision. We will judge. I suggest there should be a clause that cover those people who are risking their life without any nothing. This trial for Kotel Karuana, Elon Priaka Zavatuba, Bailon Proba Tusa, Batuba, Amerle Momili, Lom, Basna City. And I think here we are talking about fire. Pano, Guacamolino. I was expecting I would see people who are working with fire. In a level, let's say, who born a bat by long for a bad son, but you are a like Batima Molo. So they are the people who are supposed to respond for how much people they need to assist them. In never, never, I look for a bar, a bell, or a bar, a bat, a bar, 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 a
today be in Kauli? Go pisa bo thuku thata go bona batho ba ileng gore ke ba ba dira ka molefi fela go na le batho ba ba duelwang ba ne ba tshwantse ba ba dire ene le bona ba ba dira ntho o eno ene ke re ge go ipeno ene ka se ska tla mo khutlong so ene ke go ba gore let it be accredited certificate for those people who are volunteering for timamolo a batho ba ba fiwe certificate tse di ba le tlang gore like accreditation certificate and i think the government should go to the people who are those people who are under mobile for it they should know the boundary for ba fitlela go kae gore ba tshwantse ba bereke ba it is not wealthy for ba tshwantse ba bereke without pp go ba ba bone ba e go ba thomba ile gore ba dira mo class ga bone ba kgone go tlhaloganya gore ba tho ba ba fitlela kae go ne ga go ga go asia ma gore ba tho ba dire kwa ntle ga di pp tse di lekane and another thing i want to raise i just want to check to the parliament for it the the resources in the area is allocated according to the population of the namba or what you go ga pe go tswa mo parliament eng gore a di diriswa tse di tlabakelo tse tse le go re di anelwa di neelwa go tswa ka palo e le go lebelwa palo ya batho ba ile gore e tlo go ba thusa na palo ya batho yone e bhlokwa and another thing e ke le ka go tsheka ke gore since this thing ya fire anything ki how much things they have achieved and for now what things we should deal with it ke le batla khape go lebella gore e sale e nalo leno la tsamelelo le simolotse ke en se ba setseng ke ke difensa dilo tse ba setseng ba di fihlelletse and e e mora be e lo gore le rona ba di should read who they maybe we should avoid illegal connection we have to learn and avoid this uh, uh, illegal uh, electricity connection because last day we have a problem here for it me utse ile a tlogetse bana then ile fela fela a bua a tsa shopong a fela ile gore ikhwishing just like in the uh, la last time the uh, other adult left the kids unattended when she returned on her return she find out that the fouls the, the house was on fire now it's time to come with another mechanism without electricity what mechanism can we use a re tleng ka tsela e mo gape e leng gore re ka idirisa ba re sa dirisa motlakase a go neletse le mo re ka idirisa even the matches without matches what can we use kwa ntle ga mollo matches Regarding sa in mubo monja matches. Okay, I thank you. Dale boka. Me arbole na libu. Ma kana lina ke mang? Ntswaki le dia mokwena. Ntswaki le dia mokwena. From Khetleng. Go tswa kwa Khetleng. I'm a ward commit member. Ward commit member. Ne ke tsaba go disturb me mokwena go tlile gore wa tlhatloga so. So nixa ku tle hore hala la bomama ka re hey e re ke mo tlogela Eh dumelang ba dula se dulo ba rona Greetings to our chairpersons Eh ba tla pitso botlhe the community at large ke a le medis Greetings to all of you Le ha re ile ra fitla lata Even though we were delayed well ke khono ho topa tse pedi tse tharonyana i managed to gather a bit eh ke ne ke kopa hore mo badula se dulo ba rona i i was requesting from uh, our leaders there uh, up there hore he budget e tswile e tswetse sechaba if the there is a, the budget which is allocated for the community or for the benefit of the community anke le bana le sechaba e tswe mo dipotletsa lona give it to the community direct it to the community not into your pockets ke a itse hore ke pelo go tlhoko e ke bolelanye ka hore 
Tre na le di project tse di sa fele. I know this is heartening because we do have many projects which are incomplete. Di berega 6 months, 7 months di chele de mara du o sa ende kontraka 3 years. It can be 6 to 7 months but the contract which was initially signed was meant for 3 years. So ke bolela ba ka pelo botlhoko ka hore re na le project ya land care. I am very heartbroken because we do have the project of land care. I I think it really see. And we haven't benefited at all. You know, fell la fell mo le ba le. Mo la re na ne le beletse hore tla re dela di kampa tsa dipholo holo ba re borela le metsi. Just disappeared while whilst we thought it was going to benefit us. Se se nsa bo fela se ke tlo se bolela. Lastly, ke khopela badula se tlo ba rona. I am requesting our leaders up there le hele rumiwa go le re ni follow ups gore le khona o bona re dilotse di abereke do the follow ups follow up on the programs that you have initiated le be a no ke ke bolela be ana e re tlhaka khumbi re tle re tlile ka mo mollo go moholo o tletse o thibile le tsela mo o ya kwa even on our way here there is another area which is already burning as we speak e be a no ne ke go pela hore at least the legal side, but who's on your horror? Mo lola obati, magara kabo. I want a motu anything. Kudi mo aramol. We are requesting that at least you can try to assist because there is no one who is assisting as the livestock is within that fire. Yeah, lebo. Thank you very much. Again, now Jackson Pafud. Jackson from what for? Is my name from what for? There are municipal officials here. But then, but I can't remember to uncle Mas Pale. This one, where, where there's fire? Moses Kotan. Moses Kotan. There are no officials here. I have a chance to remember to uncle Mas Pale and Moses Kotan. Chilis, can we? Chilis, Chilega. Chilega. Can we? Can we get the details of the Ntate Mpavudi and any mass advisors on the fire? Get people of the municipality to attend to that. Sure, thanks. So, Elanda. Okay. Um. Kera ta hodi medi sa. Nage Nevel Motaung kesa kumo retire. Nevel Motaung. I'm from Retire. I'm greeting you all. Representing study group of farmers in our area. Nage wana ka bide ya shota kanya. Isur akenya zemar ge wana kare ya shota kanya. This bill it got some loopholes. Kaher na lokosheba mo di documenti nzeri ko na kente di ko nte. As we normally look at some documents from the, the, the foreign countries. Can I look one of our hey moto a senior more about about how he's a horror no moto or a what how yeah hi a trauma a trauma guy shall say if you don't fit a go go guy. I have noted that in those countries some of the there is a number of years that is said to the people maybe who have uh, didn't who didn't uh, adhere to the law ka gore batho ba fisa na ga ba ora ba itsi ene ba etsa dilotso go ka bomo ene rona re le barua khomo re tsa mare sokola go fura khomo kana se ga se ntwe e bo be be re ke sa charity ya malapa these people who are doing this are the well known people and this is affecting us, the people who have livestock. And you go for a gas and you go hang on or ever got a motor mobile. But we take a two point and you got a yard. If we can include number of years to say that, should you not adhere with the law, this is the repercussions. Thank you very much.
Let me greet the parliamentarians, our traditional leaders, the community at large. Moses Manamela. Moses Manamela is my name. From Moritili Local Municipality. What five? What five? Kamo fasa akoshin chaube pau beri makapan. Anda akoshin chaube pau abu beri makapan. Naga supporta biliega mukoi thailand kating. I do support this bill as it is. Lehege na le matswe ni honya naka. Even though I have some concerns with the time which we, we, we received the uh, bill, when I look around us, we as the uh, municipality from Moritili, we don't have uh, the representatives. So, let's go even from the traditional leader's side, we still have the same problem. But why Those the people that we can say when this bill they were the ones who should be steering the ship in terms of this bill. So we do speak. Mara consultation in Alonso in Horogare, I see refusing. Pella Zelayana Eloko Ruisa Nagayona, I see Gopani. So Niki Kupela Vela, extension in Yana. I'm just extension now or communicate the little horse. I will request that there should be some sort of extension so that we can communicate with the traditional leaders. Uh, the community is as large. Uh, it can be in the form of a web website. It can the website. It can be the radio. Through the radios. The uh, tribal authorities. The As well as the municipalities. So that this issue can be emphasized to see its importance. And uh, number two, the second issue is uh, communal land as I am from the communal land which is under the leadership of the traditional leaders the problem is uh, how to sustain the land the forest it's not, doesn't have the bales. So there is no firebreakers. So firebreakers. So there is no firebreakers. I am requesting that when you are doing uh, this budget, we have to remember that we are talking about the forest. Is this forest well managed? Uh, so, the other issue is about training. The duties and responsibilities are about what we to participate in. Our responsibilities to, for all of us who are going to partake in this from up there up until at the bottom. And we get law enforcement. The law enforcement issue. We are more building. I can only define and penalties. Come, come on now, we. Pela jaga si buise setin si buile si talu si te kibona ikarilina kaki bono mukwa oilo kure kizi la ya kotlao. Lady disciplinary codes and procedures. Lady disciplinary codes and procedures. Kauri na rele ba du na gele mulu mulu. As a farmer. Uh, I'm reporting more traditional leaders as well as um, municipalities. If they don't listen to me, where am I going to report? 
so on a gopela or I am now requesting that for Ruban L website. There should be a website. Where we can complain about this one. That will be the form of monitoring. Okay. The other Another issue. Form. Do you have any questions about implementing? Yes, we, we put the act, but at the end of the day, the act doesn't work. We end up saying that government is not working. Then end up picketing. So we go our monitoring arena. Ao ao be ao we matovaiti. Let's have the offices where we can complain, then head. So, Leona, I'm going to fellow Gratamu Ebolela. I'm going to fellow Gratamu Lastly, get the overseers. But uh, this overseers of the law. Nke ba ba nele na ko six months. But ba ire audit ba ba no orna. He play ke tse di lenga. Ek te ya ba berike na. Aba fi we na ko ek ana ka di ko di tse di ka nan six. Ba di re two no. E le ko re ke audit. Ko ba na kala ko re aseno si ka ba tse two sa. Ka ore kam ko re bole la ka na inti eight impli inti ni mo mo tiri so. Jacques said, I'm going to go to the city of 1998. But us, like the people who are from the communal land, it's for the first time we hear about it. So, I'm going to say, 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 Thank you very much. I'm going to say, Have you activated your people to look into that fire first? No, sir, we don't have funds. You are? No, sir, we don't have funds. We, don't, we can't pay for petrol. But you have petrol to come here. I hiked. <laughs> uh, um, Madam, please time me. I've got three hours according to the Honorable Chairman. It's, it's on tape, sir. record it. Mr. Chairman, Honorable Chairman, Honorable Members, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mr. Chairman, as I've been saying for the last three days, I believe that the Northwest Umbrella Fire Protection Association 
uh, umbrella here Northwest the Fire Association. Is the only umbrella fire protection association in the country representing all tribal authorities? Uh, this is through the auspices and the assistance of Kosimabe uh, and his team. And we are most grateful for the support that he has given us this year to try and prevent loss of lives. The loss of livelihoods, the loss to the environment, and to ensure food security for our people. In English, they say, In English, they say, those who assisted me during dark times or dark days, I will thank them after I've succeeded thereafter. The reason I'm saying this is I have to acknowledge one of our oldest volunteer firefighters and member of the Fire Protection Association. This gentleman, at the age of 71 years, walked into the Mahalitsburg Mountains with a backpack to go and put out a fire yesterday. The second fire in two days. Mr. Jonathan Dawson, please rise and have everybody, please give him a round of applause. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I know that's not part of a presentation, but this is part of a point and uh, a proof, of, a, a portfolio of evidence. I've brought a living portfolio of evidence. <laughs> Sitting next to him is his wife, who does invaluable work as a volunteer, unpaid, doing the work of the South African Weather Service. Giving us early warnings to our community in the province. This is with regard to fire warnings. I'd like Mrs. Dawson to stand and also be given a round of applause. The type of thing, Mr. Chairman, that Mrs. Dawson sends to us is, for example, today we, we have an orange fire danger index in the Bujanala district. And, she, and the message is as follows. Very high fire danger in the area. High temperatures and variable wind. No burning. Please be aware and report fires immediately to the fire station and community groups. Please add a location pin wherever possible. And then every time there's a message, there's an important one at the bottom that changes. Today's one says, there's, there's a fire behind us, near Kuas. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a useless message. You have to say, 
the date, the time, who you are, where the fire is, and what is burning, and what assistance is required. Honourable Chairman, I'm also honoured today to be supported by the fire chiefs in the Bujanala area. It is very heartening to know that we have the support of people like Chief Ramotwala, Chief Tsweu, and Re Khokong. As you can remember, in the other two districts, we had zero support. This makes us a formidable fighting team. I would like to mention one thing to you. Don't think that as we are standing here, we do have budgets. Don't think that as we are standing here, I heard some of the speakers say that the budget must come straight to the people, not through other routes. Sillo saro na kota na kule risimula ko Dr. Ruth raikonga kamudiri Rafael Lafa kichormadi kaiyo. Our problem, which we have raised since the, uh, the beginning of this uh, hearing, is that there is no budget. We, we volunteer at own cost, at own expense, and at own risk. Money which is available goes to the municipality, goes to the district municipality. My councillor. The councillors who are getting uh, salaries. Uh, uh, the donations they are getting they don't know what fire is. They only see fire on TV. When when they smell smoke, it's, it's a cigarette smoke. And they, we are the, they are the ones who are, who we are dependent uh, <laughs> on them. Uh, the people who are getting uh, their salaries are the ones and make some uh, a proposal so that this law should be amended and the power must come to the people. The first point that I want to make, <laughs> and now these are the formal points. <laughs> we must make sure, following on what my deputy said, that we are looking after the disabled people. <laughs> We have, we have to make sure that all our firefighters and all our volunteers are trained in South African sign. We have to make sure that all our it is already very traumatic to go to a fire or to be involved in a fire when your house or animals are burning and you can speak. How more so if you cannot hear or you cannot speak? It is not only our responsibility to do something for the disabled community. Uh, 
It is their constitutional right to expect us to look after them. Ke molauteo or laela kore re tshwanetse re ba tlhokomela. They have a right in terms of the Bill of Rights. I think it's chapter 2 of our national constitution. Ba na le di tshwanelo go ya ka karolwana ya bobedi ya molauteo wa na. Mr Chairman, you said that we mustn't repeat things about funding etc. But you've heard me say on a couple of occasions, one or selling or swell at uh, You heard me that if, if, if I don't raise my concern, you won't know about it. We have the capacity to train all the people in our province. Yeah, it, uh, I, will, I will say it in Sitwana such that you can understand me better, even though you come from Gauteng. We do have the capacity to train our people, to take them and train them and show them how fire is being extinguished. Uh, you heard my trainees saying that uh, they've been trained to fight the fire. They do have that capacity. The only thing standing on our way is money. Uh, maybe, I, maybe I'm getting old. No, two, two things. Municipal Disaster Management Center. Municipal uh, uh, Disaster Center. They are undermining us. They don't want to assist us regarding uh, our training. Uh, our, our trainees. I'm, I'm using strong words, very hearty words. How many months have we, uh, uh, I've been approaching them, begging? Till, till today, provincial disaster management center. Till today, uh, I was not assisted by municipality or disaster center. Uh, our request is that you should talk to Cocta, Minister of Cocta. And instruct the people who are falling under his or her department, that they must do their duties. They are, they are being paid. When, when there is fire, we are the ones who are, who are going to the fire and they are, they are seated at their homes. Uh, tomorrow, you will see now, uh, they are now going to help me more because now I'm, 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 I'm trending on a, 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 a uncharted grounds now. M Mr. Chairman, uh, 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 you can hear that these people are not angry for me. They are not saying I'm lying. I'm standing here. I'm, I'm, I'm standing here. I'm talking on behalf of our people. I'm, I'm not pretending to be a chief. I was unanimously elected by all the FBIs in this province to represent the community. And my team and I, of whom I'm exceptionally proud today. Even undertaking to Hosi Mabe and the other Hosi really and all our members, members. Really really that we will do our work to the best of our ability with our hearts and our minds. 
Last year we were nice and polite and wrote letters and we begged and we pleaded. This year, together with the National Prosecuting Authority, due to the fact that environmental crimes have now been given such a high priority, there is a policy of zero tolerance. Towards intransigence or lack or lack of or, uh, laziness or whatever you want to call it. Mr. Chairman, when I once used the word and said that people are useless, I was told that I am a but I found that word in the Oxford English Dictionary. Mr. Chairman, I'm going to say a number here, and it's a big number. 276,552. 276,552. That is how many hectares were destroyed in Bujanala, Sela. Did she like That was the fire. That was because of 12,275 fires. From the 1st of May to the 18th of November. Mr. Chairman, that is a catastrophe. It is not just a disaster, it's a catastrophe. The Northwest Umbrella Fire Protection Association applied to PDMC to have a state of disaster declared for our province last year. The only answers that I got is how not to declare the disaster. Or why we can't declare the disaster. Or who can declare the disaster. But nobody came to me as a farm boy. I'm holding me by hand. I'm holding me by hand. Show how to wear, how to assist our people in the Northwest. That to me is a total incompetence or unwillingness to do your job as an official. The national minister declared a state of disaster for floods. And, and in one province, there was uh, an area where people had built illegally and they were, their houses, they were damaged by floods. Uh, uh, there were people who built uh, uh, their shacks in a, uh, illegally and they were affected by those floods. What we then did on behalf of the Umbrella Fire Protection Association, we contacted the Kosi. Rona, Momokatlonga Rona Kibuilenka Ode, Rei Kopantiseli the Kosi. We contacted the Farmers Associations. Mekatloyaba Limirui. And we contacted all the FPAs to find out what roads were damaged by the floods. 
botsa re kopanya le di FBA tso tsotlhe gore ke ditsela dife tse di sentsweng ke merwalela Honorable Chairman Honorable Members I'm reminding you now the state of disaster was declared but they weren't sure of the state or how much was damaged in this province Ya no ge e mafelo ao a kaiwe ele mafelo a o tswe ke kodiwe fela ga go bontse gore eh tshenyo e mile e kae e jele bokae our team spent hours or days together with the different organizations and the tribal authorities ya no se tlopa sa rona se tsere matsatsi eh na go etelele ba dirisana le and we forwarded this report to the Honorable Togo Didiza. And the Provincial Disaster Management did not support it. We now sit in the are people who have mentioned it this morning. That you can't drive the roads to go and put out the fires. But that is not the only problem, Honorable Chairman. There are ambulances that can't drive there. I have a picture somewhere where somebody was being carried in a wheelbarrow to an ambulance to cross the area where the roads are bad. Thirty years ago, we could have blamed apartheid. Who are we blaming now? It's not our government and it's not the political parties represented there. It's officials who are too lazy to do their jobs. We've got school buses, taxis, they can't travel. People are losing their jobs because they can't go to work. And, and this affects our community. And why am I raising this? Because it affects the mindset and the minds of our people. If you cannot afford to feed your family and you are suffering from depression, you won't mind if you set the felt on fire if your storm falls. These issues are interrelated, sir. Now, now that I've got it off my heart, I can give you a couple of the points in a bit of a, of a rush to cut the three hours. Mr. Chairman, we've got to make sure that it is statutorily in, included in our acts that we looked after more the aged, the disabled, youth and people affected by gender-based violence. We've got to train the SAPS, the NPA, and the uh, magistrates that they know what the act is about. We have got a team that can assist with us. Because when you go to the police station and you make a case, that made a fire. The policeman doesn't know about Act 101 or the Inv National Environmental <laughs> Management Act. Or, or even the Fire Brigade Services Act and the bylaws. Then the people get cross with the police because they're not doing their job. It's unfair, sir. And we have to support our police. We have to 
make sure that they are empowered to assist and protect the community. Mr. Chairman, the use of television, press, and radio. Ah, Mr. Stoke, you are taking advantage of us. Yano, uh, yano, uh, I'm merely uh, done, sir. No, we, no, we, no. We no. no way, why, why say you? I've still so. got two hours left, sir. No, uh, no, no, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are taking advantage of us now. Ah, Stoke, you are no. Uh, eh? uh, we, we had agreed that you were going to make your inputs in writing. Not so. Yeah, but maybe, maybe it's because there's TV here. Yeah. My pen jammed. So you realize that uh, TV is living. Yeah, no, now already, no, he's very famous now. You are very famous now. Why is it? In fact, the whole country knows you now. And they are appetized wherever they are. They are actually angry with me. Yeah. Because you also mix the languages, you know? And they want to hear more from you. But we don't, but we don't want to sit here with these honorable members and they are not focused. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I have three more points. Can I be no. short? No. Can I be No, Mr. Stock. I will resolve the stock. You are going to make your submissions in writing. In fact, I have even, today is luxury. The, the DG, the DG of forestry is here. Yeah. Yeah, she's here. She, she's, uh, she's very beautiful too. She, she, she's going to listen to you and you can make all these other recommendations to her and Chilega, who is also beautiful. Uh, and all these honorable members who are here have your contacts. Yeah, the contacts. You have given us your cards. Uh, so, so let's leave it here for now, Mr. Uh, do I have a choice? Uh, can I let you know? Uh, this with, was incognito that you would not with see spirit, me. With oh, you knew that you were going to appear on TV. That's why you're wearing a tie. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Actually, Mr. Stock, today is 31 minutes. Uh, so it's 31 plus 38 of yesterday. 31 plus 38 of yesterday. Plus 50 something of uh, Friday. And 50 something of Friday. So, so, so you, have, you have represented all these people quite sacrosanctly and sufficiently. And you are still going to make written submissions. Possibilities are that by the time we interface with the written submissions of Mr. Stock, we are going to take extra three hours. Ourselves. So we're going to add it on top of that 50 plus 31 of today and 38. Uh, but his inputs are quite informative and grateful. We are grateful. Yeah, we have good news for you. Mukhwasa Fire Fighting Brigade Services has, has extinguished that fire. In fact, about ten days, we have finished the duty. Key information here is today. Yeah, wow, wow, good news. Wow, we good news, Lalo. I get in the next talk on expose and none in the gira, he gira bed the regular that is to reach a monotonous or in the Gatana school or main all of that. Um, Kavata was a total like it's a lapelia and go for Felta Gibuil or less cool as a killing goes on from Cova Hape and all of that. La Vesalem puts our Narva Kubela in and then Linda this dog to go out our ring. Mutago won't stop a good work and let it important to go to the whole of school, right? I won't no. continue with my stories because Mr. Stock will be offended to say that I was cut and shot while I was talking the stories. So now I'm doing the same. 
Yes. Now, I'm making this point because I might not be properly trained in terms of the traditions and cultures. Nash is much better, in fact. Oh, yes. I, I don't want to say in Mamukrumu because it means I must also include Honorable Paulsen and also Honorable Phillips, unless you are saying that they are not properly trained on cultural issues. And it must be you saying it, not me. Uh, but I want to thank Koshi uh, Hasibone. Uh, I also want to thank Kosi uh, Mabe. Uh, maybe there are other traditional leaders who might have arrived and we were not uh, made aware. You are also acknowledged and uh, we appreciate your being here. Uh, uh, great. Uh, Appreciation goes to you, uh, DDG. Thank you for staying with us the whole day. The entire team of parliament, your commitment is unwavering. We can thank you more. Uh, we don't want to clap hands for a fish when it swims. It's your job. Yeah, but we are thanking you. And we want to thank all of you for being here. It's a real commitment sitting in those chairs from 11 o'clock until 4 o'clock to 4. Uh, those of you who have traveled the length and breadth of the Northwest with us, and uh, in particular, the people of Moses, Kotani. Tina was still not going to rest. Uh, it's just into our tambo hug. And then the popo and all of that. But the way I'm trained, uh, my little understanding of cultural uh, norms and standards is that once the chief has spoken, nobody else can speak. Am I right? Kiki, it's here, isn't it? Yeah. Kiki, it's all, man. Marin Pavatele Matsogumus. Now, I'm going to, I had requested, uh, I had made space for both the chiefs to speak, but uh, they, oh, when, when, uh, Ntadeole, Ubuilega, Gatawayabu chief, and we quickly had a caucus here, what is a chief? Um, and Honorable Paulson refers to me, a hey, chief, 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 you know? Uh, I refer to him, a hey, chief, 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 and, and, and then we realize, hey, we're in a wrong space here. Uh, so I can't refer to him as a chief, but I guess I've explained or the horse rape. So yeah, now he can refer to me as a chief. I'm sure you understand, right? So I will request Mabe. Chief Mabe. Uh, I'm, I'm going to request Hosima be over Takuba Matut. Hosima be Are Mega Kalefuku. I'm sure I got on a right there, Holatella Lamota Pito, Leno affect or Gidi Feld and Fires, and then Arle Mohelis Chavasi. And then we'll all have Honorable Paulsen to give us the closing remarks and tell us what happens beyond here after all this process of consultations. What do we do? Possibly. Okay. Um, thank, thanks, Chairperson, and, and your colleagues, honorable members of Parliament. Really, we stood the test of time today. For us to call this day a success, 
It is because of all the people that they've attended. We have to thank and appreciate their presence. Thank you very much for being here. I want, also want to appreciate the presence of my colleague, Kosi Rasiboni. But having said that, as traditional leaders of this province, from the meeting that we had, we support the bill. But you must also look at the bill because traditional leaders framework act has been repealed. So in, in the bill, you must now use TKLA act number three of 2019. So that you should not come back and amend the same bill that you are amending today. But we would like to thank everybody to have stood here until the end of this public hearing. And I just I noted something which was very unusual. When we send the national anthem, one of the honorable members never stood up. Now, if honorable members disregard the law of the country, it's a great concern. But anyway, you'll answer me outside. Okay. Because I'm not a member of parliament, so you don't qualify to answer me directly. Therefore, I, I can't engage a member of parliament. Thank you. We don't want to come to a request to be accused of disrespecting the traditional leadership. Uh, Honorable Paulson is going to give us closing remarks and tell us what happens after these consultations. What is the way forward? Just for the record, the chief did not say Honorable Paulson. He said one member of yes. members of parliament. Okay. 
Thank you, DDG and the officials of the Department of Forestry, Fisheries and Environment. Traditional leaders of the Northwest and residents from across the 109 villages of Moses Kotani municipality and all Bojanala residents. Thank you for your participation. The committee members have listened to all the inputs and submissions. We have taken notes and we will invite the Department of Forestry, Fisheries and Environment to respond to issues raised at the public hearings the committee will continue to deliberate on the contents of the bill and will take into account your submissions. The committee will draft and adapt, adopt a report and debate the report in the National Assembly. The bill will be referred to the NCOP to embark on their legislative processes. Thereafter, the bill will be sent to the president to assent. And it will be implemented. Thank you very much. And now, Jose, um, with every, with all due respect, you asked me in this public meeting on national television. So I can't respond to your answer when you've asked me on this platform. I stood for Nkosi Sikilele. I stood. I didn't stand for this stem. To stand for this stem is like waving the apartheid flag in the democratic South Africa. I can never do that. Kavolo Edu Ebu Anka Distem. Kevon Tsang Huka Akha Flaha. Yeah, a party more after the Borobello required democracy of Rusevo. I hope you accept it. I'm sure everyone here and I'm happy that I'm not traveling with them in the same car. Yeah. So I'm sure that this discussion will continue between Rustenberg and Transberg. Now as I enter in my car, I close my eyes. I'll get, I'll get, I'll get the briefing in Transberg. Thank you very much, Honorable Paulson. Um, thanks to all the participants. All the issues that you have raised are available to us. They are pertinent. 
Thank you for affording us this opportunity and respect. Hopefully other portfolio committees and select committees of the NCOP as they come to visit you, you would afford them the same respect. The rest assured we will come back. I'm half married and half not married. So, so I am from Nalum Pony. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, it's sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I carry a lot of potential. I'm sorry, 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 I'm so as you as you transit to the exit door, Grand Dijo, Rise Rise something Sahoya Malay. 